The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. This episode of Good Times with Mo the Podcast is brought to you by Globe. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? We just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex, and more sex are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women women and dudes, but not in the same way. The Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. All right, welcome to the podcast. It is a Thursday night, 24th of October. Good times with Mo, the podcast season two, brought to you by Globe. My name is Mo, phone number 478-7954, Skype, the Good Times podcast. You could even text us at 0927-214-1981. As we do on all Thursdays, we have our wonderful, intelligent, and talented co-host, Kat Alano is here. Hi, Kat. Whenever Kat wants to jump in. Hi, Mo. Sorry, my oh, microphone was off. Thanks, Biko. Oh, I, I, I'm pretty sure that that, was, that wasn't your issue, and that <laughs> was that guy right there. Um, uh, we also have tonight on the program uh, one of our, you know, f- well, one of Pico's favorite guests, uh, and one of my favorite people is uh, Princess Snell. She'll be here any, any second now, but Pico really likes him some Snell. Now, now Pico, what you don't know is Snell's got a boyfriend these days. So the days of uh, you having any, well, you had zero chance. Now it's like negative chance of getting a piece of snow. Sorry, buddy. Way to rub it in. Salad. That's good good yeah, job. No worries. All right. Salt but, but, but you know, we, we, got, we got stuff to do. We got people to talk to and we got things to talk about. Yes. All right. Now, uh, you wanted to start off the show uh, tonight, Kat, with a story. Um, what happened? You, you, you picked it off the news earlier today. Yeah, I was just listening to the radio earlier, and there was a story about a girl who was 18 years old, and she told her mom that she was going to go to an after-school activity, and she turned out to be going to meet a guy who was 29 years old who she met on Facebook. And mm-hmm. uh, the guy shot her and killed her. And, uh, after they had sex or like just I don't know saw her I, 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 I don't know if they shot her in the head sh- John face or I, I don't know they just face. said shot her and she died so then there was like a bunch of hysterical people crying and the girl who was with her was like, oh, and I didn't understand what's going on anymore and she got uh, catfished yeah pretty much um wow okay we'll we'll <laughs> shoot but you've done that though, right? I mean, you've you've had to have done that in the past, where you tell your mom, "Hey, I'm going to go here," and then instead you meet up with a guy yeah, you just met, but, you and, know, and all. it's it's hit and miss, isn't it? Yeah, but it wasn't as dangerous, I think, back when we were doing that kind of stuff. Like now, there was no Facebook when we were teenagers doing that kind of right, stuff. But I don't think Facebook was the reason why she got killed. I think you got killed because. The guy was going to do it anyway. He was just going to, he just happened to use Facebook. He was going to try something else. Yeah, but she met it, him online, you know, and there's this whole thing with like Facebook friends, you know, it's like automatically people are, are really believing that if you make friends with someone on Facebook, you're friends. It's like, this is not well, real. Well, but that's why you, know? you maybe need to make sure. Now, I'm not a big Facebook guy, but the people that you connect with have to be at least referenced from someone else, another mutual friend. Absolutely. You know, like, Make sure, okay, fine, if you want to meet someone on Facebook, when you meet them, please at least confirm that he knows someone else from your group that can kind of sort of vouch for him or her. That's exactly the point that I want to make. Like, you know, don't trust everybody you see on Facebook, guys. Like, don't just go and meet someone random. Like, they could be anybody. If you don't know anyone who knows them and you have no background check on them, I mean... Come on, let's be a little bit intelligent about this. I mean, this girl just went over there, you know? I mean, 
you meet someone online, they could say they were anybody in the whole wide world, they do anything, you know, whatever sounds great to you. Then you go over there and you're dead. How many times? You've never had sex with somebody you've met online? Hell no. Hmm. Are you crazy? I mean, I know you have, which I still think you're a little <laughs> bit crazy about, but... You know, I, hell no, I'm a girl, Mo. That's like incredibly dangerous for me. For men, yes, like maybe there's more but of a see, chance that it's going to be a legitimate you, thing. But well, guys, the difference between you, you no. and other girls, though, Kat, is because you're attractive. It's like there's no need for you to kind of even be like, what is it, wooed over by anyone online. I mean, you get it enough in person already that you can actually pick people you know and things like you, you get what I mean. It's well, like, no, I know, I well, understand I that. The, and the and I have are, nothing against people who do hook up with people online, ugly? but oh, no, yeah. no, who hook yeah, up with yeah. other people online. But it's like, you know, if you're going to do that, make sure someone knows who that person is. Don't just jump into it and, and go meet up with them in a motel. I mean, God knows what could happen with this person. You don't know who but they the, are. My thing is people get excited. They get excited because someone is showing interest in them. And especially if it's, if it's like, okay, she was 18, he was 29. She must have been like feeling for the first time. Because let's just say in high school, no one hit on her. In college, no one's hitting on her. And then all of a sudden, at 29 years, she, for the first yeah, time in her life, she feels like hot shit. I know. I, so, I get that. I get that. But what happened to you know people teaching kids how to be vigilant about the internet, like the predators online? When we were on the internet for the first time, when we were like 14, 15 years old or whatever, however old you are, I don't know how old you are. But, uh, you know, sure. like there were sexual predators already. When I was 14, I had sexual predators coming at me on ICQ and shit. You know? So it's like, when did parents stop telling their kids, don't just trust anyone online it's like now that there's facebook it's okay because you see a pretty picture of a person online suddenly you can trust them because hey facebook must be safe you know what i mean when when did this happen that i would never meet up with somebody that i met up uh, i met online ever in a million years unless they knew someone else that i knew and and they had said well he's a cool guy moments, you know like it takes moments like this unfortunately and tragic and our hearts go out to the family and everything but it takes moments like these sometimes to to remind you that hey listen it's dangerous venue not facebook but the internet is a dangerous venue and you go out there and, and bad things can happen but you know you, you as as a member of society you put your hands into the law and you say okay the reason why i'm not gonna i'm gonna ride the mrt and it's not gonna get blown up or the reason why i'm gonna go inside this bank and someone's not gonna come in there and steal my money the reason why i do these things is because we have a system and you hope that the system works and when it doesn't work it doesn't mean that it's always not gonna work it just unfortunately didn't happen that one time yeah and you again you need these things you need these moments to remind you and again unfortunately because it's at someone else's expense but it doesn't stop it's just you from so doing sad that. i know it's just so online. sad though it's like go out, you know you just, just be a little it. bit responsible about there your you life you know don't put it into somebody else's hands that you have no idea who they are like just please be a little more vigilant do you do you want to die this is a thing like be careful. There are crazy people out there. People forget this. They think that they're in this safe little bubble because everything's on the internet and you can Google everything. But in the real world, there are drug addicts, there are crazy people, and they want to hurt you sometimes. And how, Okay, how about this? Just so not to traumatize everybody. If yeah, you're going to meet up with somebody online, public places. Yes. Your place. Absolutely. In, like, huge areas. No, not then, your place even. You know how many stories no, there have no, been no, about mean, people but, coming to your place and then like... No, but I'm saying, I, I'm, I'm assuming most of the time you live in some sort of neighborhood. People, you know, you get what I mean. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah. Some, your home court advantage is probably a better way to say it. Yeah. Your yeah, in area your area. You know, your, yeah, yeah, your part of town. That you're, you're, a that better you're kind idea. of familiar with and stuff yeah. like that. All right. Well, unfortunately, she died. And I hope they get the guy. We'll that's see. That's terrible. If they I really hope so. We'll I mean, good yeah. Lord. What a waste right, of a life. Let's get that's, to this. That's it. What, yeah. anyway, we got that. a lot of calls tonight, yes. and we should start with them. Again, the phone number is 478 7954, Skype the Good Times Podcast, and you can even text us here at 927 214 1981. Let's get to who do you want to go to first? Let's go to Ray. Ray, you're 18 years old. In Manila, welcome to the show. Hi, Ray. Line six. Sorry. Ray. Ray. Uh, no Ray. Hold on. No Ray. All right. This is our uh, this is our sickness. Kind of every first call happens to be. Well, it's also our fault because we keep them on hold for fucking forty five minutes before I know, the show starts. We start but... talking about random crap and then we totally lose all our well, callers. Let's fast. go to Anne on line three. Then Anne, you're on the show. What's up? Hello. Hi, Anne. Jesus Hello, Christ, man. Are you in a horror film? Let's get some energy here. You're on a show. Come on. Hello, Paul. Hi, Anne. 
Sorry. 18 years old. What's up, baby? Um, okay. <gasps> okay. What do you need advice with? Sa relationship. From breathing? <laughs> Bakit? Ano ba nangyari sa'yo? Bagong breakup ba? Opo. Gano'ng katagal kayo ng boyfriend mo? Ano lang po, months lang. Months lang, ilang months lang. <laughs> Hold on one second. Hold on, uh, who cares? Hold on, see, this is the girl that gets victimized on Facebook. This is, this is the one right here. Yes, see? absolutely. How do I move on from my relationship? How long have you guys been together? Six months. Three weeks. <laughs> like, Six geez. months. I'm already um, irritated because of the level of energy that is being, you know, brought to our program. I would like a little bit more pleasant person calling a show. Okay, well, but anyway, fine. She's 18. What are you gonna do? All right, and bakit hindi ka maka move on? Love mo siya, kaya hindi ka maka move on. Classmate mo? Classmate mo sa school? Huh? Malayo po kasi siya eh. Nasaan siya? Perfect. Nasa ano po? Nasa Qatar. Nasa Qatar? Apo. Pero, Even better. Pero nakikilan din po siya. Ano? Namit mo siya in person? I, I bet you she didn't even meet him in person. Have you met him in person? Hindi pa po. Hindi pa? Huh? Hindi pa. Oh you. gosh, I'm kind of irritated. Yeah, aren't you pissed off? Fucking, yes, I kind of am just, now. <laughs> I told, now you get my point, right? Yes, but, I do. I don't know the, what to do okay. right now. Usually Girl I'm hasn't even nice met the it. guy. Okay. Is he, is he married, Anne? 18 pa po. Ano lang po siya. 18 lang din. 18. In Qatar. Okay, so bakit kayo nag-break? Eh, yung ano po. Parang hindi na po lang. Do you have a cleft lip, Anne? Do you have a cleft lip? You know, the, 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 like, you know, you okay. have, your mouth is normal. Okay, and, and, you know, you so you, open you, it then when you, you speak, guys, please? you guys broke up and you've never met the guy and he's overseas and you broke up because he's far away and you're 18 years old and you're 18 years old. Put on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put on, put on, hold on, okay, I'm irritated. Okay, okay. So there's this one time, right, we had this caller, and he was the same thing, he was like, hello, hello, hello. I'm like, hey, listen, asshole, can't you fucking open your mouth when you fucking speak on a goddamn show? I'm like, wow. Shit. Oops. Oh, my goodness. Fucking asshole. All right, let's just let's deal with this so we can let her go, because I'm getting, so I'm getting awesome. irritated. You've made me irritated now. <laughs> I've got your itis. Oh, okay. Irritated. Here's, Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Kat. I will give you all but 20 seconds to advise her. Okay, okay. okay. Go, go, go. And that's it. And then okay, the, okay. Pico, start the timer. She gets 20 seconds, and then I don't care if, if you're in the middle of the most Okay, just go, just go. Give me 20 seconds. Wait, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I gotta set up, I gotta set up, I gotta set my fucking timer here. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Um, <laughs> I got it. 20 seconds. Hold on, all right? One second. I'll Think about what you're gonna say. It, yeah. Okay, I got it, I got, Pico, it, I got it. When, when you hear my phone go off, that means hang up on this bitch. <laughs> Thank yep. you. Right. Let me know. Go. And? Oh. Okay, and, uh, wala siya dito, di ba? Nasa Qatar siya. Opo, wala. So, okay. habang wala siya dito, buhay ka pa naman, di ba? Umihinga pa, uh, yung, no, you're still breathing, right? Five Opo. seconds. You're still walking around? Opo. So, okay ka pa naman eh. Kahit wala na siya, you're 18 years old, you're gonna find other guys that are gonna wanna be with you and are gonna wanna be here. Gusto mo ba, while you're 18 years old, this is all you're gonna do is wait for him? Hindi mo pa nakikilala, love mo na siya. I gave you an extra 10 after <sighs> that just for that, but Thank you, you. you got nowhere with that. Thank you. I know. Thank you, really Anne. Difficult. Have a good life. I couldn't even Enjoy. like. I couldn't even get it out right in Tagalog. I was like rushing. I'm like, oh my gosh, my translating is not even happening fast enough for this question. You know, the the the, the, oh, the I, I don't girls. even know what the answer is out there. Okay, it's the like get over it. Girl. You're 18. Yeah, like it's, move it's, on. It's, you have your whole life ahead of you, and oh. you are wasting time on a guy who is so far away. You've never right. even met. He could be at the Three Eyed Monster for all you know. You know what I'm he saying? Like we were talking about on Facebook a while ago. Exactly. Like, you have no idea. And they're talking about love like they know what it means. This is the thing. Well, they, everybody them, thinks they know. Them, yeah, but let them know what it means. At 18, they feel they feel it's as strong as we felt it when we were, you know, 25 or 27 or 31. I mean, everybody feels it in that same capacity. Yeah, regardless I know. Of it's, and it's My a puppy thing love thing. I got that. I got it. My I thing is it. this, dude. 
please stop being a loser. Like, it, in the <sighs> end, the reason why you can't get over this guy is because you are a loser. I'm sorry. <sighs> when you've, if you've not even met this fellow and that you've only been together a couple months and you have nothing else in life going for you that you can't remove him from your thoughts, that means there's nothing going on with you. Why is it that Make people just have this defeatist attitude right now? Why is that, No, it's that, not though? defeatist. No, it no, is, no. It uh, is, though. It's like, I can't but, move but on. I case. can't be, you know, alone. I, uh, I miss it's him not so much. I don't want to... Yeah. It's, it's like this. It's like, okay, if I have only one thing going for me and you remove that one thing, regardless of how mundane and stupid it is, I am truly going to lose it. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose... I'm going to be sad. I'm going to sound like this when I'm on the phone talking to people who are trying to help you. Yeah, that's because you only have one thing in your life, and that yeah. one thing was some guy in the fucking Middle East, and we, he took himself out of the equation. The thing is, have a lot of things. If you have a lot of things going for yourself, whether it be school, job, friends, activities, interests, hobbies, family, yeah, but you know whatever, what, you know then these what? These things are not a problem in this day and age. You know. People aren't communicating with each other anymore. They don't hang out with each other. It's all on the internet. They're all yeah, but I don't communicate stuck in their with own other stuff. people, and I fucking love my life. Uh, yeah, but you have more stuff to do. That's my point. Well, that's do the thing. Other people shit. don't have shit to do, and who are they going to do it with? That's her problem. Her problem is not the breakup. Her problem is she's a fucking loser. That's and you can hear loser from the beginning. Fuck! I thought she had a disability. She's such a loser. Oh God! All right, can we move on to another call or something? Because yeah, I'm, that's I'm irritated. It's not. <sighs> it's not your. It's not your activities. It's the lack of them that make you sound like that. So if your life revolves around one measly long distance relationship between a teenager in fucking the Middle East, that means you're a loser because you can't recover. Now, I understand if you guys were together for four years. Okay, I get it. Yeah, there are broken hearts. And all of us have been through them. And we have a, but you can't, to have a broken heart for someone you've never met and that you've only known for a few months and then to sound as miserable as she does, you're a fucking loser. Oh, man. I'm sorry. It has nothing to do with the breakup. It has everything to do with you and your, in, your ability to do anything else with your life. Thank you. Ta-da. I'm here all week long. <laughs> Tough crowd tonight. I know. Um, let's get to let's get to Ray. Ray, line six. Huh? Hi, Ray. Hi. Hi, Ray. See, you see her voice. It has nothing to do with accent or, and it's called jubilee. It's like the girl you Being know there's jubilant. shit going on in your life when you sound a different way. You know, it's like. Yeah, hey guys, what's up? That means there's something else I do. You have stuff to do. Anyway, Ray, how can we help you this evening? Um, so like my I think my best friend is dating my ex boyfriend. Okay. And this is a bigger problem That's- than that last girl. And look how fucking happy this girl sounds. <laughs> All right, anyway. All right, Ray, That's continue. It, I'm, done. I'm done. And I well, my best friend knows that I still love the guy. How long ago so, since you guys broke up? And they're the same age. You see the difference, Kat, between what, what, what people who have friends and who have this, regardless her best friend's fucking her over. But she's 18. The other girl was 18. This girl has a bigger problem. The other girl had no, barely a problem. <laughs> but you see the difference of activities? Oh, uh, yes, I do. I really do see the difference, Mo. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm done now. I'm I really understand your point. I got you. I'm okay, here with you. Same. I'm holding your Just hand. Fucking You're same. okay. All right. I got, to you. I got you. I got you. Getting emotional. Is it that time of the month? Okay. Let's go easy on All right, this Ray. Time. So your best yeah. friend, is it your best girlfriend is dating your yeah. boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, no, my ex-boyfriend. You love this, you little scandalous whore. No, no. Um. <laughs> this is my thing. This, this is becoming an epidemic. No, it okay. is. It I totally really is. agree with you. Wait, this Ray, how long since you guys uh, before since you guys broke up? Um, Like six months. Okay. And then how did you find out that your best, your best friend is, is dating him now? They're not even um, telling her. Like... Well, well, it happened in September. Mm-hmm. Like it was my debut. Okay. It was, and then my best friend told me that th- my ex boyfriend tried to kiss her. Uh huh. At your birthday? While I was, yeah, while I was vomiting in the toilet. Oh, good place to be. Nice. Oh. I was Happy drunk. birthday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Oh, thank you. So, That's so right. th- they were behind me, and then my, while my best friend was patting my back. Like my my ex boyfriend tried to kiss her. What? That's disgusting. Wow. You're ta- know, she's right? patting you on the back while you're puking, and your ex boyfriend is trying to make out with her at the same time. What kind of a person yeah. is this? Good lord! I know, right? What's happening but, in the world? 
I but have man, a that's like such a sexy time to make out with someone, right? Yeah. Oh, bleh, yeah. oh, baby, kiss me <laughs> right now. Awesome. Yeah. Super great. But, but, my, but my best friend refused. Okay. And then oh, my, good. I'm, I'm so glad promised. she wasn't aroused by the vo- vomiting. Yeah, yeah. My best friend promised that she wouldn't, she wouldn't do him. She wouldn't fall for him. Uh-huh. And then, like, um, last week, like, they're always together. And then I, I recently found out that, they, like, my best friend was, um, kind of leaning towards him, like she's kind of falling for him. Okay. So do I get mad? What should I feel? Well, I, I mean, to be really honest with you, did she say anything to you beforehand? Like, did she say I want to go out with him? Are they actually dating now? And no, like, she promised out? not to go out. With no, him. I know, but like now they're dating, right? Yeah. So did they tell you that they were dating? Did she come up to you and say, no. like, hey, we're dating? And he was like, yo, you know, we kind, of, kind of like each other. Or there was nothing. No, nothing. But, but people were telling me. Okay, so how long has it been since they've been dating? I don't know, two weeks. Oh, man, if she didn't even tell you anything, that is betrayal of the girl no. code, I know, man. We need, listen, I know. We, need to, we need to bring back the sanctity of the fucking yeah. codes. Yeah, and uh, you know we what? We need some sort of crusade to I, go on because... It, it's it's starting to happen at an incredible pr- uh, pace now, and uh, yeah. I think I think what needs to happen it's is happening more we, with women too. To, well, of, yes, and we have to fight fire with fire because I, I think the reason why these things are going on is okay. There's a code. You know what the code used to be when we were young? If you did that, you would get your ass kicked. Yeah, like. You would be assaulted kicked. if you did this, okay? These days, because of all the laws and, and, and this whole like, oh, okay, you can't lay a finger on me because that would be assault. And uh, we're not it kicking ass anymore. It doesn't even matter, okay? Yeah. I had a girlfriend who did this I to me. I feel like fights are, fights, fist fights are at an all-time low right now. Yeah. And I think we need to bring this back. And, well, and I know that this is probably criminal for us to promote, but it has to be brought back into, into the conversation. When you break the code... You will get your ass kicked. Now, and, and you know how a one-on-one fight over a girl is the way to go or over a guy? You can't have, like, Barkada beat you up. Oh, hell no. We need, you need to we go one-on-one. On one. Yeah, we need to go to the extremes. Yo, if that, that happened friend, with a girlfriend of mine. She was well, sleeping well, with a guy I was dating. I found out about it. Man, that girl didn't go out for a month after I was done with her. Okay, it was a girl you were dating. I was sorry, it was a guy no. you were dating. Yeah, it was a guy I was dating, okay. and then I found out that she'd been sleeping with him. Okay, no, 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 no. I... okay. Uh, the, we need to change it. Because okay, change times it. are changing. Okay? Uh-huh. okay, okay. What we need to do is do this. The, 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 the Barcada code has to have precedent, has to have priority over the bro code in, this, in, in a sense where, for example, let's say Kat, your boyfriend, dated your friend. Yes. All your other girlfriends have to kick her ass now, too. Like, it has to be, we have to bring it back. But it should be that way. The only way we bring it back is by the strength in numbers. We have to. When did it stop being that way, though? You know, like, I remember that being that thing. Because if you fight one-on-one, for example, here's my thing. This is how my friends run, okay? Let's take Bianca Valeria as an example. Uh Bianca cheated on my best friend. Okay. Okay. With a friend of theirs. Okay. He wasn't a friend. Okay, so so same thing. Bro code bullshit. Uh-huh. The guy, the guy that Bianca cheated on. Now this is a long time ago, and Bianca's been forgiven for this. So don't yes, worry. yes. Uh, the guy stayed with the group because mm-hmm. he just got to the Philippines, stayed, and then all of a sudden it ends up being with the guy that he lived house girlfriend, which is Bianca and uh-huh. my friends. Uh-huh. So what we, what happened was when they saw the guy in the mall, all of the friends came up to him with his family and his parents there and everything and said, let's go, we're kicking your ass right now. If my mom is here, I don't care. And my friends are the nicest group of guys. They are not war freaks. That's not, awesome though, I really admire was, that. That's it was, cool. Hey, hey, you? Yeah, uh, let's go, where? We're gonna fuck you up. Why? Uh, because you fucked or my, you know, my friend's girlfriend. Uh, I'm here with my family. I'll kick your ass right now in front of your fucking mom. Let's go. That's how it has to happen. You gotta bring yep. it back. You gotta bring it back with force. Okay, Asses Hello. need to be kicked. Hello. So if Hi, I Ray. were you, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got you Ray, back. I would totally yeah. fuck her up. Really? Even fuck though yeah, she's really. my best friend. 
I'll, I'll Man, shit what in kind her of a best friend mouth. is that? Okay, what kind yeah, of a best I friend know, doesn't right? even tell you? You know, it would have yeah. been maybe it would have been acceptable if she just said to you like, "Hey, you know, I know I said I wouldn't date him, but I really, really like him. We really have a connection, and I, I want to know if that's okay with you." Even if you had said no, okay, like, and she she shouldn't have done it, but she had still done it. At least she spoke to you. Then it would have been marginally better. But she didn't even talk to you. Not even yeah, an ounce of thought for you. She just yeah, thought about I, I making think, out with your ex-boyfriend. I, need, I think you need to fuck her up. And, and I think a group ass kicking brings fear back into the whole breaking of the code. You know, I don't think you, you need to beat I mean? her up, Ray. I don't even think you need to like smash oh, see, her in the face why, or anything. This is why the code is being soft now. Well, because if you break someone's nose now, you have to pay for it, Mo. But well, shouldn't it, I wait for her to, to tell me? Hell okay, no. How about this? You confront how about this? her right now. Revenge. You call her up after this and you'd be like, bitch, you're dating my ex man. How could you do that to me? And then you there see how she be, stumbles and falls over there herself. It has to be revenge. I, I don't think you call her. I don't think you call her and you I think you still be her friend. No. You still be her best friend and you look for something to use against her in the near future. Okay. Okay, that's you know? fun. That's a, exactly fucking anything. Scandalous. <laughs> Bring yeah. it to the family, like get yeah, her to the- get her get her to email you all the fucking slutty shit that she's done and forward that shit to her dad. Okay. Oh my god, that's harsh, Mo. You really are terrible with this. Fuck yeah, thing, because though. how else are we gonna how else are we gonna bring back okay, the codes? Okay, if we're so codes. relaxed about all it. Right, okay, right. so you say, hey, I I blew I I need a blowjob tip. There's this new guy I like. Da, da, da. And what do you do? And then she's just fucking just I jackhammer that dick and and then send that shit to her dad. <laughs> oh my god, that's so, so what, terrible. So what do I do with a guy? Nothing. Oh, Don't talk to that yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, I can't do anything about oh, the guy. Sorry about that. Who cares that was about a little the bit guy? Foul. It's a little yeah. too yeah, foul. Guy. But I don't like guys like that. That's terrible. It's the sanctity of the code here that we need to keep. Yes, it, it is the sanctity of the code. Okay. You know, and you know what? Right. Actually, Ray, it, instead of like beating her up or sending her dad stuff, if you don't want to go as harsh, just make sure Send all your girl, d- all your girlfriends, make sure that no. she feels shunned. Because that is the Listen, best way to get back a girl. Fine. If you guys that's don't want to get in trouble, opinion, okay? that's just go to my jail. Opinion. You guys don't want to spend a hospital bill, fine. Go after the fucking parents. Uh, go after the family. Like, yeah, okay. fucking I'll do that. all that sex shit, send it to the dad. Oh, man. That's harsh, though, Ser- girl. I don't know about that. Dude. No, that's I not I think harsh. all the girlfriends Post should shun her. I think Facebook. that's the best way. No. Like. Post that shit on Facebook and say, listen, my best friend just is, is uh, no, fucking my No, actually, you're wrong, Mo. Bro- you know, this, this whole revenge thing, you're just sparking more uh, anti-women you know, shit. You know what she should do? She should go to anti-women her friends. Anti-women shit? No, yeah. You, well, you know, you're just making them more angry at each other. If you know what I'm saying? If a guy called, I you're would tell to You're supposed to enforce thing. the code so the sisterhood has to be stronger. So what you do is you go to your other friends and you tell all of them, dude, this is not cool. What she did is not cool. We all have to tell her that it is not cool. So you have that bond behind you no, and you show no, her see, that she is in the wrong. See, the difference between you and I She should be shunned by is, the girl society. You know, I'm a listen, woman and you're a man. We're we're, we're talking about deterrence. How do you deter someone from doing something? Because certain society countries, shuns certain, you if you've no. broken the code. That's what's supposed Listen, to happen. Why is it? You've don't been to you Singapore. Watch why, why when you walk around in Singapore, people behave? Why don't they throw gum on the street, pee on the walls? Because if you pee on the wall, we're going to cut off your fined. dick. they get fined. No, 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 no. <laughs> we will fucking whip you with a stick and, and then you're going to be fined. Okay, Force. fine. Okay, well, Ray, you have both of our opinions now. So if you want to go with Mo's approach, go ahead. If you want to go with mine, which is a little more Get girly, go with mine. Get her to have a skanky sex story oh ma- and then you send it to the I'm father. I'm totally not with the dad <laughs> Please do this. I just don't want to put the father through Please that, okay? This. I'm just thinking about her I dad. I don't think that he Listen. deserves that. Yeah, well, I don't care. Okay, Why he, you go with Mo's idea or my idea. Either way, My idea. You know. Don't even listen to Kat. <laughs> Thank you. Princess Snell is Who's here. That? And is that she, Princess Snell? Yeah, she's here. Snell, get your ass over here. I need to talk to you about this because, you know, I'm you're a young girl. I'm listening the whole time. <laughs> so, I just so don't want to say anything. For me, what do, you, what do you got? You got me or you got Kat on this one? Kat. It's too much. <laughs> girl code, Because I'm a girl. There so you know, go. It's just too much when you do... When you're you fucking do girl. girl. Listen, code. listen. Girl, listen. Uh, Snell, Snell, by the way, Kat, isn't she incredibly hot? Okay. Yes. Now, now, now we have that. Yeah, yeah. Disgusting. Snell, I'm on your Instagram. I'm seeing ass photos of you in your underwear uh, in the mirror. I don't Beautiful post my photo. ass photos. 
Oh, yeah. don't lie to me like that because I was I love that picture. Me and Pico were talking about. Did you see that Snell photo where her ass was what showing? Like as soon as you like, hear she's bare, here, auto pervert comes out of like, you. What the hell just ass. happened to you, Mo? There was, there was a bare logic ass coming photo. out of your mouth, and now it's just Listen, smut. There was a bare ass photo of Snell off of a mirror that was awesome, and and even Pico and I were like, damn, that was awesome. And 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 this was ah, I deleted Pico. that. I didn't. I, oh my god! I deleted I deleted that before oh. an hour. So I was like, "Oh my god!" Oh, Everyone it was, was too like, late. Liking. I was all over it, baby. No, I it was, everyone was liking it. I'm like, "Oh my god!" I didn't. Yeah, I didn't he, realize that everyone cat. was looking at my You didn't think about butt. it that much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, that's my it, ass. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, okay, maybe no, not. Full on. Yeah, it was full on bare ass. And I loved it. And, and Pico loved it. And we applaud you. And we thank you for your generosity. But it's gone um, now. Okay, wait. So you're with me on this thing with Ray. Yeah. Poor Ray is in the background listening to you mm-hmm. talk about her butt. Yeah, let's okay. stop it. So, <laughs> I'm so hard. No, my point with the butt, with the butt shot is, hey, listen. It's, I mean, family's going to see that stuff. They, I mean, come on. They know what's going on. We're talking about revenge here, though. Like, I, I, my my point my point with you, Snell, was like, hey, you know, Kawawa and Amanda Dan. Of course not. Come on, these the parents know what's Ray, going. Ray, what were you You're telling say? me that we, when your family <laughs> sees a bare ass shot of you, they're like, oh, that princess, she's not, she's certainly not gonna. Of course not. Come on, now. Ray. Hello. Ray, what were you ahead. saying? Yeah. Wait, because you know, my best friend has been through the same thing with her other friend. I don't care. It you know, sometimes sometimes what girlfriends I mean, are I mean terrible is, friends. What, what I mean is, like, she's been through the same thing, so she should, she should know how I feel, right? Some girls don't trust other girls after that happens Apparently, to them, you know? See, here's the problem, and this is why you guys are suffering. You're so weak at it. Look at it. You, you look at your rationale right now. <clears throat> Excuse Mo, me. Well, give my me a friend break. Know, my, okay? my, my girls friend are just naturally like. bitchier, and they don't just go around smacking each other in the face. Yes, if they did. See, this is why I make friends with guys, not girls. Because guys, once you get mad at them and you hit them in the face or something, it's, it's done. You know, it's, it's over. It's like you we're oh. quits. You know, I punched yeah. you. We're fine. Women, there's a grudge. Okay, then you suffer all this crap afterwards. You can beat this girl up, but then all the time afterwards, you're gonna be that bad woman that had this thing that you did to this girl because this and everybody no. forgets why you did it it's just you smashed that girl you broke her nose you had to pay no. for her nose shop that's no. the only really? thing that people it's gonna be this it it's gonna yeah, be it this it's you it's, have to pay oh for God, a nose did you job? See? Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. You smash you somebody's see? face? Yeah, you have did to you pay see for Kat, a nose job. Did you see Cat fucking beat the shit out of Princess Snow? Why? Well, Princess Snow was dating her ex-boyfriend? Well, that's me. Oh. You know if I'm going to smash somebody up, it's going to be hardcore. You know, that's why they're going to talk about <laughs> it. But you know, <laughs> the other part I'm of, okay, of that. Okay, listen, gonna... Ray, why don't yeah. you try these two girls? Why don't you try their way? And see, when that fails, you call me back. And then we'll talk about it again. I would just move on if I were you. I'm. Oh, no way. That's the worst thing you can do. Then you just kind of... No, no. Then you just let people... You empower people. You need to deal with this. You don't let her break that code. And you don't be nice to her. You don't be nice to her, okay? No matter what she says, no... Tell the dad about blowjobs. jobs. Gotta be back. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, 
first you need to download the podcast app. Once you download the podcast app, open it. You should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button, and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory fam. familiar with a with a game Chubby Bunny. But um what's, chub, what's like have you, have you played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you okay gonna va. Okay. And you're gonna be like okay na okay na. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Okay, I'll learn two at a time. Okay, can I What? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. Okay, can I Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, can I go? Okay, no, okay, no. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears off. Tears off. Anyway, jaundice does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so jaundice. And I'm now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at this. Tayo. Gusto mo yung snacks? Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos? Ang puti. Ay, tapo. Dito ba pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Concealer. Ano <laughs> yan, para sa show mo ha. Oh. Aray ko. Ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing? Pwede pa tong pang nose line? <laughs> Tito oh. K, may caution. Ah, when, caution! When caution! Mas ka ng glamour te! When oh. used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. Aburahin <laughs> <laughs> na, aburahin na siya. <laughs> oh my God! Te! <laughs> Sorry, ma. Pabasagan ka! Ito talaga? <laughs> Pwede bago yan. Don't Awkward. worry. <laughs> Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi <laughs> naman nagkakap yun. Oh. Dapat pala caution mo na yung pinakin natin. <laughs> Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. So she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program on this Thursday night, Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season two, brought to you by Glow. Nice to meet you, by the way. I've never met nice you. Nice to meet before. you, too. Uh, we <laughs> on are the show tonight. Introductions. Two was so extremely weird. beautiful English Filipinas. They are, uh, of course, Catalano and Princess Snell. Princess, of course, many of you are familiar with. She's on the show all the time, always getting into trouble. <laughs> Every on, time on I'm here, I always get to into trouble. Like get, crazy get ones. Shit. Yes. So awesome. Thanks for never Thanks for never being scared to come back. Or maybe you are, and then it just kind of, you wait a while, and then you come back. Yeah, no that's why. Let <laughs> yeah, it so, die down like, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, no, we like Snell. She's, she's, she's a good personality. I mean... You know, young, very young. So, I mean, we don't know what kind of experience is there in terms of advice giving, but we like her vibe. We like the kind of energy she brings to the room. And, you know. Because I just don't care. That's why. <laughs> I just don't care. Okay, so now I, I have an admission to make. So, uh, there was an episode of um, this program where Kat and I were doing forbidden questions. This yeah. is the, this is the, um, 
the game we play where you interview us and people interview us and we have to be honest about our fucking crazy lives and all of these things. This up. So, <clears throat> mm. so there was a question here that said, if you were going to booty call someone tonight, who mm -hmm. would it be? Con thinking that you actually had a chance. And I said you. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. He did actually say you. Yeah, it's just, you're true. so hot. I mean, what am I going to do? But he just right? said I mean, that uh, it, it kind of happened at that time. You might time entertain where the idea. You might answer well because you said we said that we said we talked about that before on the show. We said like if there was ever a chance, I mean, is it possible? And you're like, you, you think about it. I was like, okay, well, then there's a chance. Why not? So, that's all. But Why I have not? a boyfriend. Right. No, I, yeah. I know that's the thing. I we didn't know you had my a boyfriend. boyfriend so much. And then when you when when <laughs> so we finally much. found out that you had a boyfriend, really, like our penises are crying. I mean, he's still, still talking about so the crying bad. penises. Yeah, this I can't awesome. handle the imagery of two I've penises met, crying together. I don't think I've ever met Princess in person, but but I, I know her from her work on Instagram and, and from I know magazines her from and, and television. Her work and in Instagram. Oh my god, oh, you're so generous me. there. Wonderful. You're 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 like you're really in my top three Instagram accounts that I follow. You, of course, Ellen, and I, I'll I'll think of a third. But you guys are so goddamn generous there, and I love it. Thank you so much. On behalf of the I am not. You, I can look at my face. Instagram right now. Well, that's because you have a boyfriend now and you fucked it up royally. But before your boyfriend, it was all good stuff. Now it's and I'm just not saying smiling. It's, and no, yeah, I'm not saying it's, it's like, okay, by the way, it's, she's not, yeah, but you're not like on a, in a bikini every shot. What I'm just saying, you're hot in every shot. It's not like you're, you know, it's, it's not a lingerie model thing. It's you're hot on all your photos. And mm -hmm. since you've had a boyfriend, you've been considerably less hot and more just pretty and that's fine <laughs> that's hot this doesn't make but, did that, but, I but our penises understand. are crying that's all i'm saying can we go yeah, away boyfriend. from mo and his uh crying penises I'm just, can we just can, move on just, please can fine. we answer a phone call fine. i really okay, want to think about your crying penis right now. yeah ew. <sighs> can we put a smile on your penis's face right now just please you can do let's that do too all right uh <laughs> let's go i could imagine let's go to disgusting. where where yeah. are we here let's go to pal pal you're on line five hi pal welcome to the show Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, pal. What's up, baby? Hello. Hi, pal. How can we help you today? Well, I'm marrying someone who's 13 years older than me without my parents' idea. Okay. 13 why, why years haven't you older? Told... Yeah, but you're 24, so that's not a big deal. You know, hmm. the 13-year difference, not too big of a deal on your part. But why, my, my bigger question is, how come you haven't told your family about it? Is it because of the age gap? Yes, and because they're not here, they're working abroad. Okay, so... I think they're going to be guy. really pissed off about you not telling them then about the age gap. They, I don't think the age gap's a big difference. We, we, this no. is certainly not in the Freddy Aguilar level by yeah. any means. Oh, I mean, oh, my God. Oh, my yeah, goodness. you're 24. A 13-year-old difference is not... It's not a big deal. Yeah, so what's your question, pal? So that's it. Those in Mary's. Well, you just wanted to know if it was a big deal. Idea, so. <laughs> like, uh, just wanted to tell us that you got congratulations. No, what, what, what I'm is the, the bigger issue is the fact that you're not telling your family. That means that, you, you know, there's a chemistry problem there between you and your parents. Even if they're abroad, I'm sure they would really want to know when their child is getting married. Yeah, who was at your wedding? Yeah. <laughs> When how are you come, getting married? Why, why didn't date? you tell them? I mean, was it really just because of the age difference? Yeah, it's because I don't think they want me to be married. Well, so why did you get yeah, married without telling them? Even if they didn't want you to get married, you probably would have gotten married anyway, right? Yes. So now you can't even know if they would have ever been at your wedding. Yes. Have you, oh, wait, wait, are you married yet or are you engaged? Yes, we're engaged. Okay, okay, so you're, so you're not, not married, married yet. Yet. Okay, so just call your parents. Say, hey, mom, dad, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting married. I'm yeah. getting married. I'm engaged. Congratulations. Yeah. That's it. You don't That's even it. need to bring up the age. It doesn't need to be a factor in this whole thing. And it won't be a factor. It'll, Side, it'll be fine. 13 years is yeah. nothing. Yeah, 13 years is nothing. My at, boyfriend in, at is that, eight, year, eight at years that. older than me. It's nothing. It's nicer. Yeah. It's, it's, fine. <laughs> it's fine right now. I mean, if you were 15 and he was 13 years older, then we have a different issue. You're 24, the difference of 13, not a big deal. You're fine, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All, All right. right. Thanks for the call, baby. Appreciate Tell your parents. It. Ooh, I like fast calls. Fast calls are nice. Bye. Uh, let's go. Speaking of marriage, let's go it's to line two. Talk to Francis. better because guys are more mature, like, you know, when yeah. they're much older. 
Yeah, you I could never yeah, see because, because Snell, brain. you're really young. How old are you? You're like twenty, right, or some crazy shit like I'm that, 20, right? I'm twenty two. I'm twenty one right now. Okay, okay, it's twenty one. Mm-hmm. I can't even see you dating a guy like maybe when you were like twenty, who is also twenty. You really do seem like you need a, a more powerful figure. What do you mean? Than someone your age. Like an older man who makes yeah. you feel like a woman. But, but not incredibly older, but certainly not someone of your, you know, I just, I feel like you carry yourself where if you met an immature 20-year-old, you'd just be completely bored with him. I would be very bored. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's so true. That's right. When so I was when single, it, it, that was like a year, a year ago, there's nothing. And every time I meet like the same age as me, it was just so boring. And I was like... Can you say something? Like, do you even read? Like, what do you know? Like, can you read? <laughs> can you read? <laughs> <laughs> can you read? Like, the Most news of the time, the something? answer is no. <laughs> unless I have my iPad. And then it was just okay. crazy. So I was like, okay, never mind. Get an older one. It's and then you can make a conversation. I guess. That's right. right. Make mm-hmm. a conversation. Francis, line two, thirty years old. You are in Makati. What's up, Francis? Hello, Francis. Francis, line two. Wants to know what justifies breaking up a marriage? Oh. No, Francis? No, Francis? Guys? Is it nope. over on the marriage nope. topic? No, nope. we'll call him. No? All right. Let me know when he's back. Let's go to Jet on line five. Hi, Jet. Oh, hi, Mo. What's up, brother? You're 30 years old. Ilo, Ilo. How can we help you? Yeah. Actually, I have two questions. Uh, Fire away. Uh, I'm... I'm, right now, I'm dating a uh, single. I, actually, uh, first, I have to tell you this. Uh, I'm married with two kids. Okay. On the process. Of an element. Okay. Speak up a, a little bit. Okay. Uh, we can't. We can't understand Hear you, you too well. Clearly. So, can you please just kind of speak up a little bit? So you're you're married. You have two kids. <laughs> you're getting an Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no, no, no. That was. Oh, that yeah, was I don't too know much now. What that was. Yeah. Uh. All right, let's let's try it again. So you're married, two kids. You're gonna get annulled. What's going on? Uh, because right now I'm I have a girlfriend, and uh, he well obviously obviously she's single, and my problem is uh her parents, well her dad is kind of off with the idea of of us dating. Uh, I don't know if you remember Dimples uh, a couple of weeks ago from Italy. No, no I don't. But it, it's okay. It, it, so it's, anyway, the, the problem whatever. is that yeah. her parents don't want you dating her because you're getting an annulment and you have kids? No, no. Actually, her, her, her dad. Okay. So what's the question? <laughs> Jet. <laughs> Jet, what's happening? <laughs> Jet, what happened? Jet fell down uh, the rabbit hole. I, how, how can I... <laughs> yeah, how can, okay, I, I'm assuming the question is going to be how can I get into good, the, the good graces of the father oh. because of my current situation. Well, I, I really think it just goes back to re, both of you reassuring the dad that... Well, it, it, it's, it's two things here because, I mean, you guys are in the province and I don't know if there's going to be a different province, provincial mentality compared to, say you know, city mentality or anything like that. I mean, I grew up in the province, so did you, Kat, so maybe we can kind of, you, you tell me what you think about this. If I, if I came up to you, let's just say Snell, okay? Mm. Say Snell and I are dating and I am uh, married with two kids. And say Kat, not to put you older, but you're a little older than her. You're, you're mid-20s, she's yes. early 20s. So you're going to uh-huh. play the mom. Okay. What All do right. you want to hear? Do you want me? You want to hear that I am not taking your daughter seriously, so don't worry about it, or I am taking your daughter seriously because of I would like you're to taking hear, my daughter seriously. No, because I would like to hear the other way because it's what? like it's what? like this. Oh, uh, no, uh, please hear me out. Okay, if go. Snell goes like this, if Snell comes up to you and says, "Mom, I'm dating Mo, and Mo's married. He's got two kids, but they're getting annulled," I would be, but Tita, we're not going to get married yet. We're not. It's not too serious. We're just dating. That's that's what I mean by not too serious. Like, because then in your mind, yeah. oh, we're gonna break up. Yeah, but I'm gonna I, sell I understand it what like, you're saying. I'm I'm selling it like we're not jumping into anything crazy right now. It's just dating. I really like her. She likes me. We hope we're gonna be something down the line. But right now, not too serious. We're relaxing. 
no much too much drama. I, I think I don't, that that's a little too far ahead, something. especially in the province. I mean, not to discredit anybody in the province, but like it's it's more of a. I think they like to see that courtship thing, you know, like the dedication in terms of you know you're at the house that you make the effort to speak to the parents and that you're actually right, dedicated right, right. to okay, being but, but with her doing rather that. than let's say I'm doing that. Just but having you sex remember, with my daughter. You're against mm. you're against me being around because I'm married, and and if, let's just say the courtship thing. I'm taking care of that. But you do you do not want me for princess because I am married and I have two kids. Do I tell you that I'm not taking this relationship that seriously and neither is princess? No, so that's worse. I think that a father okay. who who that's finds what I would out. Hear. No, see, I, I think you're not provincial enough. Like I think that they're more old school over there. I think that they want to know. Like if if they saw him, you know, pick her up, like take her, you know, where she needs to go and pick her up again, and she starts talking about him in a very positive way that you know he's very respectful and that mm. he's treating her well and taking care of her, I think that a parent would be more relaxed about, you know, the dating situation. Um, Even you have if to he's married. More, yeah, because, open-minded. I mean, if they are, I mean, you know, you, it is difficult to get past the stigma of an annulment. But then, you know, there's always the fear that he's going to go back to his wife and kids, that, you know, it's all going to go wrong and but he's going to leave the daughter in the, the dust. But you have the issue of the marriage, though. See, like, okay, yeah, fine. What are they supposed you, to do you're, about you're picking that? her up. Like, you have to talk to him about it. And what are you going to say? Sorry, I'm married. You know, it's weird because in their eyes, yes. you're, you're an adult too, you know? I mean, yeah, they're older and you have to have respect for them. But in, the, in their eyes, okay, you're, you're more this. of let a grown-up than their daughter because you already have a family, you know? Jet, how old is the daughter? How old is your girlfriend? Uh, 30. See? Man, we're 30, right? I mean, like, is there... Is there a necessity to pick you up and do it at uh, 30? Well, no, not really. I mean, I... Yeah, I think you 30. just have the conversation with that. Hey, listen, it didn't work out. My my, my marriage didn't yeah, but, work out. We're not jumping into another one. I I don't, I don't want to jump into another one. Right yeah, but now. okay. But I really care about your daughter. I think she's wonderful and and all of these things. Yeah, but you know what? Like seriously, would you, as the father of this girl who doesn't want him around, even let him approach you and talk to you like this? Aren't you going to be like, I don't want to talk to you? That's what I was asking you. Is it their different style? Yeah, I don't think he's going to want to talk to him. To be really honest so, uh, with you. But eventually it's going to have to happen because it can't just continue to be like this the entire time. Well, I think that it really does depend on your girlfriend uh, talking you up to him. I think that she needs to convince him also, you know, daddy's a little girl, whatever. He's being protective, but she needs to say, dad, I'm 30. You know, I trust him to be a good man to me. I know that there's nothing going on between him and his ex-wife anymore. And, you know, I'm doing this because you need to trust me. She needs to tell him that. You need to trust me with this guy. I know what I'm doing. And that is going to reassure him that she knows what she's doing. Fair enough. You know? Next question, Jet. Okay. Uh, next question. Uh, with our current situation, um, we only meet up uh, in front of their gate, actually outside their house. Uh, uh-huh. And we're having this uh, in the car date. Uh, so you, you guys have a date inside question. your car? Yeah. Uh, okay. What? Well, 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 be, well, because they're not allowed to go inside the house because dad, dad, yeah. uh, he's mad yeah, at him. The, the dictator is yeah. there. Yeah, he's, he's like not, not allowed inside shit. my house. But he's barking at him from the door. The woman is thirty years old already. Yeah, that doesn't that's, make I any know, sense. That's, though. That is just so yeah, that's stupid. the sad part. Like she's thirty, but anyway, like, fine. Let's just accept so it. Still running around like high school kids in the dark. Like, come on. It's so it's it's so bad when a twenty-one year old Snell is judging the thirty-year-old for not doing things. I'm like, you know, you're gonna lose your thirty. I know, no, I get it. Because if I had a twenty-one-year-old lecture. Me about different. things that I've so done, I'd be, I feel awful. So when I hear something like that, I'm like, oh my god! Like I feel like I'm much more mature, even though I know I'm immature. I'm like shocked. Oh no! But the, wait, wait. But the thing is, um, hmm. her parents are also separated, so her dad is oh, the hypocrisy. Her. Right, but he should then also know that these things happen, and it's part of life. Well, again, that's gonna have the conversation. I think your daughter needs. I mean. Your girlfriend needs to have with her dad is oh, that, you know, of, of all people, you should know, too, that, you know, not all marriages work out. And it doesn't mean that I mean, no, people can't be happy because of that. And I'm happy with him and blah, 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 blah. OK, anyway, let's get to it. You're in the car. You're having a date. Your date's <laughs> yeah, in the car. What's, what's going the on question? in the car date? <laughs> what's the best position for having sex in the car? Oh, best position for sex in the car. oh there we go. Now, uh, now, now. Girl on top. Where? Cowgirl. If you're in the front seat. 
reverse cowgirl. Yeah. Because where do you put your legs when you're cowgirling? Well, you you can kind of maneuver it. But yeah, I guess reverse cowgirl is a good one too. Uh, how uh, about uh, missionary in the back seat? That that works. A little awkward, but it works. What kind of car, a car are we talking is. about, Jet? Um, I a small SUV. Oh. You'd probably uh, be missionary better off in the back seat, cowgirl in the back seat, reverse cowgirl, fucking <laughs> dog style in the back yeah. seat. It, it seems like a lot of these things can happen in the back be seat. Be warned because they do say that it's bad luck to have sex in your car and that you have Whoa. accidents after that. So, really? Yeah. Nah, Just nah. telling you the superstitious <laughs> side I'm a of big it. car sex guy. Just, uh, you know. oh, like, really? I've, I've oh. been, yeah. I've, I've I know, you several... and your, your freakiness in your cars. <laughs> yeah. Snell, car sex, how say you? Positions, what do you like? I don't know. Car I'm, sex I'm positions? Not, I'm not open with that. I'm just very simple. I don't like it. Can we do mm. it in the bed or, or something? In the right, room? right. Yeah. Why in the car? Like, seriously. It's well, so, that's the only place I can go. They can't go in her house because dad is mad, remember? Good thing I can... Don't, good thing it's not my problem. No. Oh. <laughs> right. that's, that's a great way. <laughs> good thing it's not my problem. It's a great I'm way sorry. to solve that problem. Not have it. <laughs> not have it. <laughs> imagine, imagine the imagine the shotgun to the head that you're gonna feel when your dad when the dad catches the both of you banging in, in the, the car. car outside oh the God. house. I mean, it's in the house, yeah. right? He, look, he looks outside. He sees the the mini SUV shaking. There's gonna be a shotgun metal. Like you're gonna feel that cold Bam. metal uh, on your forehead. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So please drive away. Park down the street. <laughs> Somewhere safe, but don't get caught by the cops because it's public scandal and they will charge yeah. you. Reverse cowgirl is no. the way to go, I think. Because, <laughs> because okay. the, thing with the, the thing with the sex, like the missionary in the backseat, is there's a lot of dressing up, a lot of moving going on if you need to get away fast. Oh, the wear, wear, cowgirl, wear fast stuff to jump. take off, like skirts and stuff. She needs to wear a skirt. Right. You need to wear like zip down pants. That works better. Basketball shorts are yeah, quick because yeah. they're, they're kind of shiny. They're good and, you, know, too. you kind of get those off right away. Yeah, so yeah. reverse cowgirl, I think, is the way to go because she can kind of just jump right off. You can even throw her off your dick and, and back into the <laughs> passenger seat and then take off. Good Lord. Ugh. All right. I had great imagery just then. It was funny. Right. All right. Now, also, uh, you know, you can do the sex, like the spooning position in the back seat. That, like, that was always one that I pulled off. But that's when the car was moving. So just just to let oh, you. Oh know. my goodness! Thanks for the call. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Bye bye. Bye. Good luck. Have fun. The reverse cowgirl while driving too. I've done, and that works well because no, at least both you... of you are looking on the. Uh, both of you are watching the road. Right. It's like whoa, even... watch out for that thing over there. Steer if you yeah, want. Yeah, it's kind of fun because like she's <laughs> steering the wheel while kind of bouncing up and down on your dick. It's it's actually kind of cool. You are hilarious. Oh my god. I'm realistic. You're so funny. Makes me I'm amused. Telling you the truth. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go to Shocking. a commercial break. I think that's a good job. calls for this segment. Yeah. When we come back, more of your calls at four seven eight seven nine five four Skype the Good Times podcast. Hey, is your Twitter still Princess Tinky? No, I'm Princess Nell. Oh, I, I liked it last. Because time. my second name is Tinkerbell, so uh-huh. that's why I, I, Princess Tinky. And now I was like, oh my god, everyone's calling me Princess Tinky. Yeah, so, oh, yeah that's yeah, what we call her Stink. Idea. It's awesome. Yeah, so I was like, okay. I'm All right. Nell. Taking a break. When we come back, back with Stinking Cat. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. With All Stars, we're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers, we still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are suddenly shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. I don't know if you guys are familiar with a, with a game Chubby Bunny, but um... Ch- what's like? Have you played Chubby Bunny before? No! You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. 
and you keep putting it in your mouth. And you okay. Can say chubby bunny. Okay. Whoever can fit the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say chubby bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you, okay, gonna va, okay. and you're gonna be like, okay, na okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. No. Two at a time. Okay, I'm going two at a time. Okay, gonna va. What? Okay, na okay, na. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, so you both? Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, can I go? Okay, no, it's not enough. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
Ask FM is kind of like a site where people can just kind of throw questions at you randomly, uh, anonymously, uh, and you just answer them. It's it's kind of like Twitter without your thoughts. It's it's more they have questions and you just kind of answer them. It's fun. <clears throat> we do a lot of it. Okay. Yeah, Check we out. do do a lot of we it. Should. Yeah. Mine is like, yeah. yay. Thank you, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's so boring. <laughs> I've never asked anyone. Or like my best friend. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? I'm so bored. Let's please come in my house, to my house now. <laughs> this is so boring, seriously. Oh, man. <laughs> you'll be fine. All right. I think you'll do a good job there. Do you <laughs> have right. calls? Um, okay, yes, first question. Give and we can maybe do some Ask FM questions as well, oh, if you guys want to do this gap. Let's do those. Since we, Smart we, Ask we FM always, questions. Mm-hmm. We, uh... I always try to get these questions in on the show, as I promise people, but uh, we never really have the time. But let's see if we have some time tonight. Let's start, though, first with someone who's been on hold for fucking ever. Uh, L, Ellie, 21 years old, Pasai, line six. Hi, Ellie. Welcome to the show. Hello, Mo. Hi, Ellie. What's Hi. up, baby? Um, so I finished this book uh, recently. Mm-hmm. And uh, it sort of haunted me. I mean, uh, it leads me to this question. What do you, yeah, so um, what do you do when you don't know what exactly you want to do with your life? What do you well, do when you don't I, know I exactly every, what to do with your life? Is that the question? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think everybody, it happens to people more than once in their life. Oh, fuck, what do I do now? And as er, the earlier it happens to you, the better off and the more normal it is. Like, when you fi- if you find yourself asking that question at my age, uh, you know, when you're in your mid-30s, it will. It should bother you a little bit more than if you would be asking it at 21, because All at right. 21 you're not even in your prime yet. You've just kind of been introduced to the adult life, and you should be asking these questions because whatever direction you take, you have a really good head start and, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. what do you do when you you have to realistically assess your strengths, like? Right. What, are, what are you really good at? Are you an expert in one thing? If you're not, I'd go out and try to be an expert in one thing. It'll make you a little okay. bit more employable. Yeah. And you're young and enough to be able to go into something and maybe, you know, totally thrive at it or fail at it and still be able to bounce back and go into right. something new because you're still young enough to do, do that. You know? It's totally <laughs> so, fine to make a choice because I know that you're probably thinking like, I need to choose this, I need to choose that because like oh, that's going to be my whole life. It's not going to be your whole life, okay? You can make a decision now, and maybe you won't enjoy it after a few years, or maybe you won't enjoy it after a few months, but it's still okay. You know, don't panic. You can still go into something different. You know, you still have time at this age. But you need to be realistic about your strengths. I'm sorry to cut you off again. You need – that has to – that is key. Like, there are dreams. I I don't want to be a person that ruins your dreams and your hopes and aspirations and shit. But when you're 21 (laughs) – the dreaming should start becoming a reality like you take your initial steps and you have to assess your ability to pull it off. We talked about this a okay. little bit yesterday because somebody called the show and he wanted to be a famous singer, but he fucking sucked. <laughs> but it's was- you know, I understand what she's saying because sometimes like like for like right now, um, there's not much. Um, I don't know. What, do you, what is the right word for this? There's nothing there. When you're 21, you have to like study something and then get a job. Yeah, you got to go out and be good at it, something. I understand that. But sometimes, like, like me, I get frustrated sometimes that I feel like I'm getting old and I don't even know what I want to do. Mm-hmm. And I do understand yeah. her because um, right now, there's, when you don't know what, to, what you want to do in the future, like you don't know what's going to happen Yeah, that's you. the thing. That's me. I mean, yeah. I understand yeah, I her. You, Maybe okay, because I'm just young both. as well. I feel yeah, like... Yeah, no, that's true. I you're feel- you're both very young. But Kat's very young too. And, and Kat, you can completely change careers tomorrow and still have plenty of time to be successful at it. Yeah. Like, you both I just of you think guys that there's are- so much people right now and... But see, that's true. See, there's see, so see, much see, people that's a good right point. now. And there are so many people. And because of that... You have to start early. You have to be good at stuff. Because if not, you know, society will eat you alive. Now, the thing is, I don't want to scare you guys at 21 because it's still rather no, early. But I, but I really want you to get on the page of what you want to be. And you have to uh, uh, – please listen to me when I say this. Well, okay. No, Assess but you are being strength. scary, Mo. You're being scary. I, I understand where well, you're going with this. So I'm going to help you out because I do agree with what you're saying, okay? Like decide something. You know, like whatever you're good at – you know, try and find a way to make it something that is is uh, like 
what's the word, Mo, that benefits your life, you know, and do it 100%. Give your all into whatever it is you decide to do. It can be anything you want, something that can be lucrative for you and could possibly be something that can help you through your life, you know? And if you go okay. through it for like a year or something, if you don't like it, it's okay. You can go and try something else. As long as you do your best in everything that you try and at least try to get it somewhere because you really want to do it, it's okay to mess up a couple but of times along the way. But I don't want you to try with something you can't realistically do. Yes. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm repeating my sentence. You have to sentence. be good at you what you want to do. Yeah. Like, you can't just you make stuff realistic. up out of thin air. Like, I'm going to be a magician tomorrow. It's right, like, you can't like, lie Everything things. is yeah. not that easy anymore. Not like before. Yeah. Like, I know that I'm never going to buy um, a house in Dasma. I know that. Because right now, like, you know... the. If I, no, 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 if you're I stay hot. in Manila, you can, you no, it's away. different. But of course, the, I don't want to marry some guy that a rich fucking guy, and I'm just gonna stay at home. No, I'm gonna be a girl who's gonna do something with my life, and yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna work hard to get uh -huh. something. Uh -huh. But I don't see myself getting that much money because I know that there's not much, there's nothing for me out there right now. Like you know, the only. Maybe, yes, if I do finish my college degree and then I get lucky and I get a proper job and then maybe, of course, but there's so much people right now that, and it's, everything is not easy anymore. Like, for, example, for example, if you want to um, uh, get a job in this company, in a fabulous company, like, you know, there's only, there's just 1% for you to get that job. It's not like before that every, like, there's so much, I don't know. I, you know what, well, for me, I, I, you know, for, as someone who is a little bit older than you guys, mm -hmm. I just want to say that, you know, do your best to be the best at what you are and what you're good at. You know what I mean? And then opportunities will come your way because, you know, I've been in this industry for like 10 years now, since I was 18 years old. And at any given point in time when there was nothing going my way, I would make something happen for myself. You know what I mean? You can be the best at what you do and strive to be better at what you're good at and make something happen for yourself. You have the connections, you have people you can talk to, hustle. You know, if you want to do something with your life, you hustle, you talk to people, you make connections, you make things happen for yourself. Whatever it is you want, you can chase it down if you are good at what you are doing and you put your all into it and work hard for it. You can achieve these things. It's just a matter of going out and being brave enough to yeah, do it. Here's yeah, what I want. You're right. Because I, I, this is the um, message I, I need to be clear. I'd rather yeah. not yeah. talk to this, the, the, the people that can help me yeah. in my career yeah. and... Because, of course, you get frustrated, you, be, I don't know, I become shy sometimes. Yeah. But that's the thing, that all too often with these situations, you are your own worst enemy. If you are afraid and you never go and try and do it because you're so afraid that you might fail, you will never try anything in your life. And you have to know, live guys, life guys, this way. I, you know? I need mm. to think. You go, go. need to know that you can do it well, though. Like, here's my thing. You can't yes. try. You can't okay. dream if you're not good at it. Like, you can get lucky, but you're certainly not going to be there for a long time. Okay, Snell, what do you do? You're saying that you don't have anything out there. So what do you do? You're an actress, no, 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 right? No, no, yes, I do understand oh. that. But, like, I want to open my own line. Like, you know, I haven't finished my school. Okay, right. And I but think are, you, are you good at fashion? I mean, I know you are because I, I know I'm you. I'm not but good at drawing, I, but I have a really good sense of fashion. So I do you have to that. go out there and do... You have to be better at drawing. Uh, at least I know fail. that I'm not good at drawing. Or you drawing. have to be better I'm at honest with that. But it's well, let me, just, okay, let me ask the caller. Ellie, what do you like? What do you mm -hmm. want to do? What were, what, like, if I was going to ask you, th give me three dream jobs. I think it's because of the age. Give me three um, dream jobs for you. Oh, you get lost for that, a while when you're That's actually my problem. I don't know what job I want to do. And it's no, not about no, what job you want right to do, now. Ellie. It's not about what job you want to do. It's about what it, are it, you good at. What interests you? See, Kat, listen. I need... I have a moral obligation to my listeners to tell you to go out there and make some goddamn money. And you do it by fucking being an expert at the industry you choose. Like, if yeah, you but she hasn't even Mo chosen an industry. That's why we're asking her what she's good at. I know, at. But, I want, but I want her to be choosing something like a job that's going to get her somewhere money. Absolutely. No, I agree <laughs> with you. But you what is she good it. at? Because if she's not good at it... She won't be able that's, to make money. That's with why, it, you know? But, but, but she that's what I want to ask her. Well, give me three jobs. Okay person. Give me three jobs because I don't want her soul to be fulfilled. Okay. I want her wallet okay. to be fulfilled. Uh, so fulfill give me Mo's request right now, Ellie. And, and three jobs. You know, three putting jobs. him down. Three jobs. Um, probably a radio DJ. 
Radio Ooh. DJ. Poor. No money there. Yeah, Next. no money there. <laughs> All right. Um, probably on an advertising agency. Better. I, Better, yeah. Could work. Yeah, I haven't well, tried um, applying a job there. Because I, I mean, um, and then what else? Uh, something to do with the movies or in line of TV. Okay. It's just right. that I'm not Great. comfortable in front of TV. Okay, great. That's perfect. So let's take those like three real quick here. And I want this lesson to, for everybody. Okay, you want it to be three things. Number one, a radio DJ. That's fine. I'll respect that. I mean, shit, that's what we do. Two, <laughs> you want to be in an advertising agency. And then three, you want to be on television. Okay, now I need you to assess, are you great at any of those three? And if you're not, trash it because you're going to waste your time. Are, are, okay. okay, fine. You have great diction. You have good cadence. You speak both languages as well. Are you able to write? Do you have good topics? Do you keep do you keep up with the news? Do you do all of these things? If you do, then maybe you have a, a chance at being a radio DJ and pursue it. But if you're if you're lacking in any of those qualities, trash the idea. If you want to be in the okay. fucking advertising agency, are you creative? Can you practice at home? Can you get your cell phone, put it in front of you, and come up with some sort of battle plan to how to sell that shit? If you can't do that, scrap that shit too. I don't want you to waste time. And if you already admitted you're not comfortable on television, then why the fuck? Do you want to be in the movies? Throw that idea out as well and regroup. No, and it's like the, the background. I mean, not in front of TV. Okay, I mean, do you write? The background. Okay, do you write? Do you know anything about lighting? Are you, I mean, you have to assess your strengths. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. And if you I cannot really do, do any that. of those things that I've explained, you throw out all of those ideas and you take up pharmacy. No offense to people in pharmacy. What I'm saying is you can learn that. The ones that you are choosing are innate, kind of, let's say, God-given talents that if you don't have any of those things, even though those are sexy jobs, you will fail in those right. jobs. Because those are abstract jobs, jobs that have to deal with some artistic element inside you. And if you don't so, have that, fucking put it in the recycle <laughs> bin and hit the leap. So, Ellie, are you good at any of those things? No. No. Okay, Ellie, Good. you may need Pharmacy. to reassess this. You may need to reassess. And but that's yes. my point when but I don't, say, don't what I... are your strengths? Be realistic about your strengths because everybody wants to be on TV. Yes, but Everybody wants to be in this and that. But if you can't pull it off, you're going to fucking My your time. point is I agree with you. Absolutely work towards your strengths, but make your strengths the best thing about you. So you are indispensable in whatever area it is that you're good at. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. And, and assess yeah. what, okay, after you assess your strengths, you have to assess is what I want to get involved in something that people want to be a part of too. Like, for example, I like cooking. I like baking brownies. I'm going to open up a bakery. Okay. Is the bakery business lucrative right now? Is it something? Is your muffin fucking way better than Polly's muffin over there in, in Magallanes? If it's not, scrap it. Okay. Look. Whatever you choose to do, you are young. So it's okay if you F it up the first time, all right? If you want to go and bake cookies, bake them as hard as you can and make them the tastiest <laughs> thing ever because those people who sell cookies exactly. on the street, you know, started off being They're the best awesome. cookie makers ever. So They're that's how awesome. Mrs. Field started and all so that stuff. You have to start go go to Shell Magalhães. Yeah, just Buy start yourself a anywhere. goddamn Polly's chocolate cake. Taste that. Taste your shit. And if it tastes the same, you have a chance. Yes. If it doesn't taste the same, you better fucking make it taste the same eventually. Yeah. <laughs> You know, just just do one of those things. Just try and be do your best at whatever. If it fails the first time, it's okay. Don't be afraid of the failure so you don't do anything. Face your fears. Go for it. Be the best at what you can be the best at. And if you, you know, can't do it, then change your mind. It's all right. All right. I'm just scared. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, thanks for the call. Bye. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mo. Listen to me. Thank you. Bye. Here's what I'm worried about, Kat. Just be confident, See, I guess. Here's what I'm fucking worried about. Okay, right? what are you worried about, Mo? People are not getting involved. They aspire too much, and they forget that, you know, the regular boring jobs? Yeah, a, somebody are needs to do them. A, are necessary, and B, are more lucrative. Yes, like, absolutely. Yeah, the pharmacy, uh, being a pharmacist is boring. Nobody ever wants to wake up and go, I want to be a pharmacist. But there are people it, who want to be scientists and pharmacists. There are people like that. Don't really. worry. The ones that are no, calling us are not like going to be the ones who want to be pharmacists. Duh, they don't listen to us. It's a backup job. And, and, I but it's to a, be a, it's a very before. lucrative one. See, Princess Nell wanted to be a cop before. No. A police officer? Yeah, I wanted to be a cop. Yeah, but before. Yeah, every five year old wants to be a police officer. When <laughs> Come did you want to be a police officer? I, that was my dream no, until I was like 15. Well, that doesn't count. <laughs> 15, 16, and then I started doing the, this thing. So I realized there's no money in it. That's all. <laughs>
<laughs> no, there um, is. Do we have another caller? Yeah, we've got a lot. Uh, Ask FM you? questions? I don't think we have time for Ask FM questions. Oh, okay. I, I always say callers. I want to, but we never get to it. Um, let's go with Moch, who is 24 in uh, Davao. Hi, Moch. Hi, hello. Hi, Moch. Oh, what Moch, can we do for me. you? Hello. Hi, Moch. Yes, Moch. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, hi. Moch, do you hear us? Okay, go. What's your question? Moch, what's your question? What the hell? Is he having a conversation Moch with his family li- like about his question? I think Moch is listening. Moch is listening to us in delay. Oh. Moch, can you hear us? Hello. Okay, hang up on Moch. Yes, hang oh, up hang on hang Moch. Up. I don't know what happened okay. to you, Moch, but you're not here. That's all right. He just wants to learn how to move on from his boyfriend. I'm so sick of all oh, these questions. Gosh, anyway. I really don't like the move on questions. It's like, come on, yeah. grow some balls. Oh, Jesus. It's not even that. Get it's on with it. I mean, it's not even like gross. Uh, as much as it is grow some balls about moving on, it's like, hey, how many people are there in this world? Six billion. How many of them do you think have not had a broken heart? Uh, Zero. You know what, Mo, though? I think that because we get the question so much, we become a little bit, you know, insensitive Impatient. about how, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. like, <laughs> guys, we've answered this question so many times. You're so stupid. You don't know the answer. It's like, we forget that every heartache <sighs> does hurt. And we're like, guys, you suck. You're a loser. I, no. Like, it's like, like, uh, like okay, maybe, sorry, guys. Or maybe we're just much more luckier that we, we just know a lot of people. So it's like when... When you break up with your That's boyfriend, true. you can just go out and then just fuck it. Like, you know, have fun and meet another person. Not like with these people, they're very close-minded. Uh-huh. And then they just basically, maybe they're like, maybe not close-minded, <laughs> but like, you know, they never really you go out. out they never oh, really man. go out. And that's yeah. why. <laughs> that's so yeah, no, no, That's no, friends. I, I, no, but uh, no, it's, true. As, as, uh, it's true because <laughs> it's true because there are people that want to hang out with you. Uh, I mean, there are other people that don't have the social circle but like me i don't have a social circle i know a lot of people but i don't i don't go out with them Mo deals with bro- his breakups with revenge that's what he does yeah. <laughs> his best a, friend yes <laughs> and b i mean i deal with it with trying to be as realistic as possible yes it's going to hurt one day and it's going to hurt two days and three days but i also know it's going to get better and i also know we all have to go through it several times you're in our lives you're going to meet another person yeah but you exactly. know that and you're gonna- see other people don't know that usually that's the people that I come to us them. and say these things about their heartache is the first time and then we've become desensitized because we hear it so often we're like oh grow up just get over it it'll be fine you'll have somebody new right. like, we're getting yeah. grumpy and old with these people Mo this is what's right. happening fine, with fine, this fine, shit fine. shut up okay fine uh, Hello. what's up <laughs> You're in a Cagayan de Oro. You are 23 years old. Line five. <laughs> what's up? Yeah. I'm like, Hello. Hi. What's up, dude? What's happening? Yeah. Hey. Go. Happening. Everything's happening. But anyway, I've got the. I'm sorry? What's going on okay. today? Guys, what's is, happening? Is it our technical? Hello? I have a feeling I'm, I'm going to start blaming on people soon. Yeah. All right, Paolo, go ahead. What's up? Paolo. Paolo, oh, Jesus. Come on. To slow oh. motion here. Paolo, let's go. Uh, oh, internet it connection our, problem. It's our, te- it's our technical. Neat, neat, neat. Paolo doesn't get an erection when he's drunk. Oh. <laughs> even what? if we even with if he's with a super hot chick. Is that is that it, Paolo? Yes. You heard it right. Okay. How the right, so, heck do you do it? How do how do I do it? Uh-huh. Well, first of all, I, I I don't get drunk often, so yeah, he doesn't drink alcohol. Uh, very, that helps very him a rarely. lot. Yeah, extremely <laughs> rare. But I do when I'm with a super hot chick. I tend to not get an erection uh, every now and then as well because it's anxiety. You like, oh my god, why is it? To, uh, I, I've said this many times on the podcast. So I'm going to say it again. Sometimes. Um, it's not really low self-esteem, or maybe it could be a little low self-esteem. But sometimes I'm thinking, why is this incredibly gorgeous girl naked with me? And then I start having an anxiety attack, and my dick doesn't work. <laughs> oh that's normal. Oh my normal. god, that's I mean, crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really good. It's really anxiety crazy. Anxiety dick. Ew. But it's usually with people you just met. Like if I just met a super hot chick, and then all of a sudden she got naked, I'm like, oh my god, what's going on here? And then it's just kind of weird. If I know her, and and, and you know, uh, we've done things before, and that because there's capacity, feelings right like there that. already. Mm-hmm. That's why. Well. It- well, I've then already sold to myself that the reason she's naked is because she likes me for a, ver- a variety of reasons. Yeah. Right. But when you initially are naked and I just met you, I'm like, why are you here? Like, because I know I don't look like Daniel Matsunaga or I don't look like one of these, like, why are you here? You know? Um, 
Because I have so that's anxiety. And that's normal. Yeah. Because <laughs> I have personality. Yeah, I mean, I need Sorry. a reason. I need I need a reason why you're here. I need a reason why you're naked. That's because you're insecure, Mo. Come on now. No, it's not insecure because it's normal. It's a normal anxiety thing I think that guys go through because I want to be able to perform. Yeah, so what does he do then? How do you, you know, just stop getting drunk so much? Or or like, what's the answer here? Well, okay, there's there's two things though in his case. Number one, the alcohol obviously is going to affect you, your physiological makeup, definitely. So if you're suffering from both, which is sexual anxiety, which is very normal and a lot of guys go through it, and you have alcohol, your dick really isn't going to work, Paolo. You have to fix both of those problems. Hey. Paolo. That Paolo. happened to me, actually. You couldn't get an Your erection? Your dick didn't get no. hard <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You said it up. Also, okay. Yeah, In the other way, though. I don't want to talk about it. So yeah, so, so a, guy, a guy didn't have a hard on he when he was He couldn't get it you. up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what were, were, were you a lot better looking than he was? No, like. Anyways, I'm hold on, hold on. some guys I'm just you know some guys Paolo really do get anxious you know they they get uh, anxiety they performance anxiety and then they start to beat yes. themselves up because about it and then it just doesn't happen. Well, he had a lot of um, self esteem issues. Oh, so that's yeah, why. And then we're mm-hmm, together. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, "What the fuck is happening?" And then boom, boom, that's not gonna help to him. Boom, like, <laughs> like, what the fuck gonna, is happening? Like, He's like, I don't our, know. I'm so sorry. What the fuck is I'm this? Like, that's I'm not like, gonna help our, like, our relationship right here. I'm like, and then boom, for like months, there's nothing. Well, I'm like, oh. The thing is, the thing is, uh, Snell and Kat. Well, that's and crazy. Kat said, oh, Mine was crazy. It, it's happened to mm-hmm. it. Ha- it's happened to us uh, several times. It doesn't happen to for ugly months chicks. on end. Mm-hmm. It doesn't happen to ugly chicks. Mine was like months. It does. Yeah, I'm sure it does. It's like okay. Uh, I've had sex with, uh, say, early on in my television career, I had the opportunity to have sex with some incredibly good-looking women. And, I mean, maybe we were naked like six times and it didn't work all six times because it was still kind of like, wow, this girl's so fucking hot. I don't think it's an esteem thing because my dick is fine when they're not that good-looking. It's when they're really good looking because then all of a sudden you put pressure on yourself like well, this girl know, is so hot I want to be able to like, do well that, yeah. at it and other and, other guys have uh, other anxiety issues you know is he going to perform well enough is he big enough but it's always is he satisfying consistent. her like they it's do have their consistent. own issues Yeah but it's always consistent with a guy sleeping with hot chicks Look at look, look, look at this look at his question the guy Paolo I don't get an erection yeah, when even I'm drunk. Even if he's with hot chicks. With super hot chicks. Yeah. Well, I don't it consider always is hot, the problem obsessed, with super hot chicks. I do, under- I do know that there is instances like that. Like my ex boyfriend was like that. Uh huh. So That's I. Do so you were like way too hot for him, and he was like. No, I don't. I don't consider myself hot, but it was uh-huh. just like okay, I think that now, he had anxiety issues yeah, and he had yeah. a lot of self esteem issues. So that's why. And then I do understand that. Snell, yeah. Snell, as humble as you want to be. I'm telling you this. Whether and he was you cute. Consider he yourself was really hot guapo. or not. <laughs> For me, he was guap. I don't know about other people. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just saying. For, when I, when I, I, For me, he was guapo. For me, he was really guapo. So, in other words, you were better looking than him. No! It works like this. There you go. Whatever, so. It works like this now. Oh when God. I'm on your Instagram, right, and you're super hot on this, because I've never met you in person, and I can't wait. But uh, when I'm on your Instagram, I'm going through your photos, I'm like, man. Just one soft dick night with Sylvia. That's so disgusting. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <sighs> Where are we? Every time I'm here, like I always picture dick. It's just so weird, you know? Yeah. Like, you just have right a, a visual image of a dick in yeah. your brain every time you're here? Yeah, because of Mo. It's like, oh my God. Like, so he's kind of like fucking with your brain. If there's a dick on your mind. No, exactly. no. Right? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, I don't want to think about that. It's right. just so that's awkward. Not, that's not good. There. It, that's not good. All right, all right. Let's let's be let's <laughs> away from Do we have another caller? Yeah. Yeah. Can we yeah, have we another caller? Let's see this. You know, uh, that's not you know to, what I like about Snell. Let's stop talking about Snell. Snell's the only, <laughs> Snell's the only, <laughs> only one. Awkward. Snell's the only girl, hot on chick that comes on the show that we perv over and she not doesn't like, she kind of takes it against us. Like when Ellen Adarn is here, you should see it. Tell her about when Ellen's here, man. When Ellen is here, we're like, we're like gargling like our own fucking. Ew. Um, oh man, someone with the crying penises and stuff. Can we just no, no, go saliva? Because she's like, oh, we're drooling. We're like, oh my god, Ellen, you're so fucking hot. It's so fucking crazy. And she's like, hell yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Oh my god. It's awesome. Come on, come <laughs> on. Fantastic. Fantastic. Embrace it. Fantastic. Woohoo! Yes. Embrace Next caller, please. Um, much. 
March. Line six. Yes, hello. Hello, March. What's up, March? How can we help you? Um, I just want to to consult you about this. Um, I'm in love with a person I've known for, for almost one year. Okay. But and it was just recently that I tried to court him. Uh-huh. Yes, um, yes, we are bisexual, and everything was. Hello. Yes, we're yeah. listening. Yes, yeah. yeah. and uh, uh-huh. everything was smooth sailing at first, and then the kids we hug each other, exchange sweet messages, but there was no "I love you" messages on Spark. However. Um, these all the things that are so me. I, I love these voices. Time on, time on, time on, time on. I don't understand a word he's saying. But I, I love these voices. This, again, this goes back to my favorite voice of all voices, the pilot voice. Uh, I just want to say great. that uh, welcome to Manila uh, International Airport. Feet. I'm no. uh, bisexual at 15,000 feet. <laughs> Sticks thing, some boy. If you would like about to his asshole, temperature belt. outside uh, is 79 degrees. <laughs> I was sucking this guy's dick here in the cockpit. <laughs> And thank oh you for flying God. Philippine Airlines. <laughs> it's, it's so I love loud. these voices. Oh, They're the same. best. Okay, so Kaka, I love aviation. Uh, let's talk right. too much then. Uh, so much. You w- can't what? Okay, you like this guy. He's bisexual. You're texting him. We, we don't understand. What's the question? What happened? Um, I said I, I am not yet moved out from him. So what should I do? Well, what oh, happened? You, guys you were couple? texting him, and then nothing happened. <laughs> um, You're, actually, texting, um, like romantic. Well, shit, at first, everything was smooth sailing. At first, and you know, we, you know, we kissed, we hugged each other, exchanged sweet messages. Uh huh. And then what went but wrong? There was, um, but on his part, there was no reason. "I love you." So, however, based on the things you showed me, I can conclude that he has strong feelings for me. Until one day. No, when something almost happened between us, everything just changed and he started avoiding me. Maybe I'm he realized sure he wasn't was gay or bisexual. It's still the same. No, maybe Baggage he realized number three he wasn't. You... <laughs> <laughs> maybe okay. he realized uh, that uh, he wasn't bisexual. I, Go, no, no, you do no, it. Can I take a break? Okay, Mar- March. Pilot. March, this, this is how it is. Okay, this is how it works. Uh, the guy wanted to fuck yeah. you and then he kind of almost fucked you and then didn't want to fuck you anymore. Uh, this is the equivalent of me pretending to like a girl, going out with her, we make out, I wanted to fuck her, she didn't want to, so I'm not going to hang out with her anymore. This is normal. Yeah, something like that. Much. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, because it's normal. Guys, we want something, and we, when we don't get what we want, we're not going to pursue it anymore because that was our goal. My goal is to fuck this guy, I'm going to get there. We're going to hang out. I'm going to text him a bunch of bullshit that I don't really mean. We'll go to a movie. I'll make out with him. I'll go for his dick. He won't allow me. We're never going to go out again. Yeah, because they will get Does that make sense? To, it makes sense to me. <laughs> That's it. Hey, you're, you're right. I agree with you. I concur. I'm, I'm behind you all the way on this one. Okay? He wants something or you want something. You thought you were going to get it. It looked like you're going to get it. It smelled like you were going to get it. You not, didn't yeah. get it. You stopped looking it's for it. That's not something like that. Actually, I love this. I love this guy. No, the he didn't time. love you. Fuck. Can you listen to me, goddammit? You know how many times we get this call on the show? Now I'm being grumpy because of how many times we get this call on the show. <laughs> the girl goes, you know what? There's this guy. He was going through my house all, every weekend. Yeah. Tapos, you know, naglumabas kami ng isang yeah. beses. Tapos, nag, yeah. ha, nag, nagmomol kami. Tapos, hindi na niya ako kinakausap. Bakit? I love him. He wanted something, didn't get it, and is done. That's how it is. It will leave you cold. It will leave you wondering, but we will tell you right now, that's what it was. You need to start getting over it. How many yeah, female friends, cat, princess, do you have that have lived this story? The, uh, I don't hang out with those girls anymore. Can I move on? But how many times how have you How can you move on? Story? You move on. Yeah, this guy someone, didn't want to be with you. Like, Why do you want to be in love with somebody who doesn't want to be with you? so called, you know, the Asha. Yeah, Listen, so uh, you know okay. that's why you that don't give sad, this to this person much. the time of day anymore. This person wasted your time, you know, and now doesn't want to be with you because you wouldn't put out. What kind of a person is that? You want to be in love with the kind of person who will leave you because you didn't put out? 
Is that well, what listen, you're in you're love blaming, with? That kind of a person? While you're blaming him, the other guy, I'm blaming this guy for being a loser. Okay, Munch? The more time you spend contemplating on this, the more of a loser you are in my what? eyes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll tell you. Uh, no, no. Let me give you an example. What if I applied for a job? What if I auditioned for a role and I got to the final audition? Tapos hindi ako nakapasok. Ano, iiyak ba ako? Sasabihin ko, hey, teka, pinasa pa ako. No, you failed. You fucking failed at what you wanted to achieve. What is your problem blaming it on someone else? You were not good enough as I was not good enough for the role, as I was not good enough for the job. Do I have to call somebody and say, do I have to call somebody and say, uh, Kat, help me, bakit? Pinaasa ako ng show na yan eh. Imagine, nag-final call pa ako. Pumunta pa ako dun. They, they, they said they liked me. All of a sudden, I wasn't chosen. Now I can't get over it? No. no. Hey guys, are, you guys are not meant for each other. That's it. That's f- I you failed can't at tell that him endeavor. that he failed at this. This is not a failure thing. This is not his fault because that this guy didn't moment, like no, him. No, no. I'll tell you, the moment people think they have a bigger chance than they honestly and realistically do, they tend to linger in their sorrows. And that cannot happen. Okay. This is so not a pussy world Mo anymore. Is you have to is move that on. You hoped for too much from this guy. You projected something uh, that was uh, this love picture with this guy that didn't really exist. This is what Mo's saying. He's not saying that you failed. He's saying that you hoped too much and put too yeah. much onto a guy who wasn't really what you thought he was. And now that he's showing you his true colors, you're all like, I'm in love with this guy. Are you in love with a guy who will treat you this badly? Really? You want to love somebody like that? Did but, you see okay, everything about him is. and uh, decide say, no, now that you want to love this no, but guy? but see, Kat, here's where you're flawed, love. And, and okay, I, I know go. you're very smart, so uh, you know, I agree with 90% of your stuff. This uh-huh. is the 10% that I don't. Okay. Uh, him being in love is true, but that's what makes him a loser. See, you're questioning his feelings. Don't <laughs> question it because they're real. I know that. I know that. I'm not saying but they're the not real. They're... I'm saying that does he still want to say that he loves this person? Do you still love this person, even though this person has shown you okay, what, what a terrible yes. person he is? And what if he says, yes, I, yeah. I love him? Well, then you're what an idiot. You are an idiot That's for my loving point. a person That's who's like this. That's the point from the beginning. This guy's a fucking loser. But you didn't now, explain you... that, Mo. You have to explain no, all the points. Of it. You this. can't just say you're no, dumb. Because... <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, Everyone okay. is an idiot or stupid when they're in love. Maybe he's in love and, you know... I know yes, that. You have to be realistic with this love shit. Sometimes you, know? you have to be tough. And my and this is me being tough. Hey, uh, Moch, listen. Okay, stop wasting time asking yourself, why did this happen? This is why it happened. Wake up. You failed at what you were trying to achieve. Whether he used you, whether he did, in either way, it's a fucking failure. The longer you linger on Questions like pinaasa pa ako and all of these things, you're just gonna continue to be fucking miserable. Yeah, that guy's moved on, honey. He has moved on. He's far, far away now. He didn't get the job. He left and he didn't get it. He's fucking some other dude right now. That's what's happening. There is no sentimentality with this. Enough. You. I don't agree with Mo on this special enough your failure thing. Okay, you can take whoever's true. opinion you want, but I'm saying now, if you were still in love with this guy after what he did, you don't know what real love is. Because if you think that people who love you are supposed to treat you this way, you need to reassess your views on love. Right. The thing is, I'm still, you know, I'm sending messages him on the Facebook. Why? Because you're a loser. Why are you still messaging him? I'll what answer for? It. He ditched because you because you wouldn't fuck him. Do you understand you. that? What, what? He dumped you because you wouldn't put out. Do you understand what that means? He just so wanted to have sex with he, you. He, he, you. He left you because you didn't fuck him. Yes. Okay. Much. Are we clear? Or even okay. if you did fuck him, he left you because he fucked you. That's what guys do sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You know? Guys do that. They'll fuck you, then they leave. And then you're going to sit there going, but why did you fuck me if you didn't love me? Because we didn't love you. <laughs> yeah, End of story. Okay. Now I'm gonna go fuck someone else, and you can call <laughs> podcasts and, and and ask questions. That's but why I'm we're fuck here. Your friends. Okay. Watch. Okay. Does that help you, Watch? So while you're talking to us, he's fucking your friends. Who's yeah. winning here? No, it's not something. It's not like that. How do you know, Watch? You don't even know where he is. Uh, what? What? You don't know where he is. Sorry. Do you know where he is right now? Actually, you know I know where, he is. where he's working right now. You know where he's working right now. Do you know if he has other guys in his life? Do you know if he's texting any other guys? Do you know if he has plans to meet up with another guy later? No? I, I don't know. 
Because well, actually, I'm just, just you, you have know, to get it over just, and just move see, on. Machi, you, you know, no, wait, wait. You know what the problem here is, Mach? You know what the problem is here? Why you can't move on? And I'm getting a little bit irritated now. The reason you can't move on is because you don't want to move on. You are still holding on to the hope that maybe he's the guy that you think he is. He's not. That guy, the image that you have, the image that you have of him in your mind is not real. You need to get rid of that crap because this guy has proven how much of a douchebag he is and you need to get over it because he is not that guy. And you don't want to move on. You're like, did we lose no, him? Good, great. I'm sorry. Yes, we did. <laughs> but you know, you know what I'm talking about, right, Mo? I'm, I'm, I'm right there, right? No, if he wants so to move mad. on, he's not going to be, oh, I can't move on and make all these excuses to us like... You know, oh, but I don't think it's like that. Like, stop making, yeah, he's like, stop making excuses for this guy. He treated you like crap. So stop telling me he's not an asshole. I don't even know if the guy treated him like crap. Does it matter? Really? Yeah, that's the thing. No, because if okay, I, yeah, well, I see, I see your point. But the like, point oh, being, he victim. just ditched him. You know what I mean? Failed. He did just ditch him. So what the hell are you still chasing you're after this singer. guy and making excuses Listen, for Ken, him? You're, for? you're a singer. You, we watch American Idol, right? Yes. And, and what happens when the guy on Idol sucks? Yes, but being in a relationship Simon. is not an audition, Mo. It's totally different. No, it different. is an audition. It oh, is man. because if you don't wow me, I'm leaving you. Yes, I think that maybe your point is that if you're not compatible and you won't be together, it just doesn't happen if you're not right for each other it's just not going to happen you but can't there are people hoping. out there that believe so much in themselves like i keep saying the entire episode be realistic please be realistic people stop thinking you're better than you are if if, if you go on an audition i'm using audition as my analogy because it's the most it's the you most you really want to go on an audition don't you <laughs> no, <laughs> you no, want to be in a play why, don't you mo no because i, I hear think, it already. i think when we watch idol or, or voice or whatever, and the person fails and they plead their case, we know how pathetic they are. Like, what do you do? Right? That, that's one common thing I think we can agree on. That's the reason I'm using this analogy. When you're watching Idol and the guy sings, he gets on Idol and he sings, uh, you know, um, g- give me a fucking song. Uh, and you'll never be royals. And then Simon goes, that's the worst fucking thing ever. And then the girl's going to go, again. well, fuck you, Simon. I'm good. I'm going to be a singer one day. And then we sit there as an audience and go, oh, my God, how sad and pathetic. Because is they girl? don't know any better. Because they don't their mothers know tell them they're, they're good. Awful. That's what happens. And and I don't like, want you're to be so mothers. amazing, darling. Right. I love listening to you. I don't want to us you. to be mothers telling these people that they have a chance. I'm They're not telling him that he has a chance. It's crazy. We're, We're blaming said other people I, aside no, from themselves. I am not blaming the other guy. I am saying, look at this guy objectively. I'm saying be realistic. This guy is not who you think he is. So get on with it. It is your fault because you don't want to move Maybe on because you refuse is. to see that this maybe guy he isn't is. what you're... Uh, maybe he is in the future. Maybe this guy we're talking to is the problem and he's not realistic that that guy was just in fact being him. Okay, well that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Is like, why are you in love with this guy when now he's not the guy that you think he is? But it is his thought. Them, it is his fault. It is his thought that he about was this treated guy. like shit. This guy on the phone now okay. has some sort of empowerment. Maybe he that, wasn't oh, treated been like victimized. shit. Okay, maybe you weren't he treated like treated shit. Like maybe shit. this guy was amazing. Maybe he's a, a, an amazing guy, but he's not the amazing guy for you. That image you had in your mind of him being that wonderful guy for you, he is not that guy. So move on. I will rephrase it, and I know what you're trying to say, and I agree with the, with the spirit of what you're saying. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying, Lang, is instead of talking about the other guy, I would like to talk about the guy on the phone. Okay. Because that is where the problem lies. Because if we go ahead and disregard the other guy, guess what? He's going to replace that guy with someone else, and we're going to have the same problem over, and this guy's going to call okay. us back okay. in three months. Okay, so let, let's give him uh, the final synopsis here. I don't want him synopsis to call us back here. in three months. You know, I want this motherfucker it, to fix this shit. And sometimes when you push it so hard, it's just so bad that I end up, end up not wanting to talk to them anymore. Like mm-hmm. sometimes mm-hmm. like when guys oh, I don't care. and I was single when you push it too hard it's just so bad you just look at them and you get disgusted so maybe yeah. that's the, the guy's uh, what you know feeling yeah maybe. yeah i mean imagine maybe. he's like he's, he's saying i still text him all the time this is disgusting uh, okay. like you have yeah, to relax then and then okay so okay in Play the summary game. in summary mo what is your uh your My evaluation summary is, on this? stop acting like a fucking loser that the guy left because you guys failed at whatever the fuck you were trying to do and now you and have you to were... realize that you have to move on like, it, it really is that you're not good enough for this, and neither is he. Nobody can pull this off. Like, it, it's just so important to know that, that you do not have the ability to do it. So 
if you keep on texting him and, and blaming him na pinaasa ka and all, no, you failed. Stop making excuses for your failure. You fucking failed. <clears throat> and it doesn't mean you're so not a good hard. person. Man, I'm it doesn't so hard. mean That's that you're right. not talented. With all this failure. Okay, no, we, uh, <laughs> this question no because listen, again, I'll use the audition. I'm if I'm able I'm to listening. go to the end, if I'm able to go to the final call and they give the part to someone else, it doesn't mean that I'm not good. It doesn't mean that I'm a bad actor. It doesn't mean any of those things. It means I just failed. good enough. Right. It doesn't mean I'm not good. I just wasn't good enough. Yes. Well, then Absolutely. move on and find something that I can fucking do. You're may, or maybe they're not compatible, period. Absolutely. All right. All right. We got to go one more call. We got to get out of here. All right. We got to get out of here. Maria, and then we're done. I'm so pissed off for you today. Maria. <laughs> I know. You were grumpy as hell today. 17 years old. We are in five. the gates of hell, though. Yeah. Hi. Maria. Hi. Hello. What the fuck do you want? I'm just kidding. It's a joke. Hi, Maria. Hi. Um, Maria, what can we do for you today? So I actually called like, um, I think a month ago. Uh huh. Remember that? Well, I wasn't Maria. Um, Don't worry. I I don't remember. Whatever it is, I don't remember. Tell us what it was. Tell us what it was. Uh, no, never mind. But okay. but my question is today, tonight actually is I have this friend in college. I'm in college already, and I have this guy friend, and he's kind of really into this girl, this 16 year old girl, in one of our class, and they like they have a thing, but the girl doesn't like him as much as he does. He's 20, by the way. Uh-huh. He's mm-hmm. 20. He's 20 years old, and. He's supposed to be my best guy friend in this college. Mm-hmm. And right now, all he does is ditch me every time, which is kind of annoying. Oh because my God, you're getting mad because you're in love with him. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> She's oh, yeah. a lesbian. Okay, well, that, that'll kill Fantastic. All right. So you're mad about That's the fact exciting. that your best friend keeps ditching you for a girl. For a girl that doesn't even like him that Honey, much. Honey, honestly, sorry. But at 20 years old, guys... They think with their penises, and you're not going to give him any of your JJ. So he's going to go and find it somewhere else. You're still going to be his friend at the end of the day. Yeah. But, no, but the JJ is, is something that he wants right now. The thing is, <laughs> I kind of pity him because the girl is just kind of using him because mm-hmm. he's older and listen, he's got if a you know sixteen year old. Okay, listen, if a sixteen year old is using a twenty year old, then he deserves it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> Hey, Come on, stupid. she's so fucking right? young. This is the theme of the night, our stupid guys. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if he's, first of all, imagine his best, okay, I'm a 20-year-old guy. My best friend is a 17-year-old girl. The girl that I want to get with is a 16-year-old girl, and I'm allowing her to use me? Of course. The guy's a fucking loser, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, really. Really. If my best friend in the entire world at 20 is a 17-year-old girl, yeah, I use a who, guy when lesbian, who's yeah. calling, yeah. and I'm trying to get in the pants of a 16-year-old, and she's like, like, I understand guys who want to get in the pants of a 17-year-old girl. Fine, I get it. A 20-year-old guy, fine. But if you're being allowed, you're, if, you're being, if you're allowing yourself to play played as a fool by a 16-year-old, then you're a fucking loser. Yeah. You know what? There's nothing you can do about this, though. I mean, did you even have a question? What was your question? Are we answering the right thing here? I don't know. I just, I just think he's like ditching me for that stupid so girl. Uh, see now, you know, I, I know that it hurts now, and you're teenagers, so everything is a little more sensitive. You know, you want to have that bond of friendship, and you know, you're supposed to be like bros, and he's supposed to pick you over her, and all this shit. But you know, what if you're really good friends? You guys are gonna be friends forever, okay? Like if that's really what this friendship is about. So this girl. She's probably going to be temporary. She's a 16-year-old. He's 20. This is going to end at some point. But you're always going to be his friend. So you know what I mean? Let him go and be a dumbass. And then at the end of the day, when he comes back with his tail between his legs and he's like, it was a bad idea, you can be like, I told you so. Let's go get a milkshake. And it'll all be fine. You know? Or a beer. <laughs> that too. Yeah. That too. Uh, and, and Maria, to be honest, listen. How do you how do you phrase this where I don't sound I don't sound so bad? <laughs> you're grouchy. If your disclaimer, Mo Twister is grouchy. You, yeah, if if your friends don't want to hang out with you, what the fuck, man? So what? Like, yeah, <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, dude? I'm the one who called. Like, uh, how do you deal with stupid people? Remember that? Ah, uh, yes, I remember okay. you. Okay, all right, but but my my thing, Murray, is like, dude, it's like if your friends don't want to hang out with you, why force it? 
the, you always have to remember, like, and you're smart, Maria, because now I remember when you, you're a smart girl. I just want you to know, like, the world doesn't revolve around the time that people give to you. The, revolve, the world revolves around the time you give yourself to do shit f- that will make you happy. Yes. Like, Absolutely. if they are you. not hanging out with you, don't spend time wondering why. Or if you want to, the answer is there's something they don't like about you. So either that or they're really busy. But at this point, it's or like so they're what? trying to bang a chick. You know, don't, yeah, just the, don't worry busy, about it. Trying to bang a chick. So in the end, like it depends. You can just try to take the clues. If your friend says, "Hey, I'm going to meet up with you at 4 p.m. today. Meet me here," and doesn't show up, and he does that six or seven times, that means he's an asshole, or there's something wrong with you. If it's, "Hey, Maria, I can't hang out with you right now because I'm trying to bang this girl," that has nothing to do with you, and he's just really busy. Yeah, and at Either the same way, time, well, sorry, Mel, go ahead. So either way, if they're if if your friends are not hanging, I can only say this with confidence. It's because I don't have a lot of friends, and I don't desire to be hanging around friends. I love being alone. I love it. I love it wholeheartedly, and I embrace it. And there's not a you know what? There's not even the day goes by too fast when I'm hanging out with myself. It's actually okay. when I'm hanging out with others, my day <laughs> seems to be slower. There's so much to do alone. That, that's why I could say this with this confidence. Okay. It's like oh if he's God. not hanging out with you. Don't waste time thinking why. Don't be a loner like Mo. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Wait, uh, unless you want to be one, which by all means, you know, whatever is your choice. But for someone who has a few more friends in Mo, not a lot, just a couple, um, I would say that also being friends with someone, friendship entails a long time. You get to know each other over time. Friendships develop and you get to know a person through the years that you spend with them. And sometimes if you want to unconditionally love your friends, they have traits like this, okay? There are those friends that you have that will disappear when they're in a relationship, but they'll come back out of it when they're not in the relationship anymore. It's not a personal True. attack on you. It's just that that's how they become. They become hermit crab. They want to just spend time with their, right, with their, with their boyfriend that's or girlfriend. Me. And then they'll come back out of hiding when they're ready to come that's back out true. of hiding. And it's nothing to do with you. Yes, okay, That's they right. neglect you for a little while, but it's nothing personal. They don't love you any less. They're not treating you badly. It's just, hey, I like being with my boyfriend or girlfriend right now, you know? So let me have that time. When you're with someone, I'm sure you love spending time with them too. So you kind of need to make allowances. And then when you have a moment, just, you know, jo- jokingly say like, hey, you know, spend time with me sometimes. You're always with this chick. I, I feel like I miss you. I want to hang out with you. You know, let's hang out sometime and invite him out for a drink or something, you know? That's a very good point. No, really. I, I completely forgot about that. That's probably exactly what it is. Exactly. Too busy, man. Too bu- and it has nothing to do with That's what I'm saying. It has nothing to do with you. Just relax. And Don't take find it something else. Yeah. yeah. Find, find some girls else. to hang out with or something. Don't worry about it. Oh, my chest hurts. I'll I think it's because my favorite though. team lost in the championship game oh. last night. And I'm pissed. It's okay. But Just go get another time. tattoo. It'll make you feel better. Oh, and if we win tonight, tomorrow, oh, I'm going to be positive light of, of advice. Fluffy. It's going to be great. Fluffy. Yeah. Let's take a break. When we come back, wrap up tonight's episode on this Thursday. It's Good Times with Mother Podcast, Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. with a game Chubby Bunny. But um Ch- what's wait. Have you have you played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you okay gonna 
Okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, na, okay, na. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Go. Two at a time? Yeah, I'm gonna do it at a time. Okay, kana ba? What? Okay, na, okay, na. I just saw it. Okay, na, okay, na. Okay, can I go? I can't. 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 What show? That show! It's a show! You know, all that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh, yeah, that show's cool. We talk about. Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina and like a double blowjob. Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about. It's like when you guys like a high five in on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High five, bro. Vagina. Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. Go. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. familiar with a with a game Chubby Bunny. But um Chub what's wait. Have you have you played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever Let's can get it. the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you okay gonna ba. Okay. And you're gonna be like okay na okay na. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Go. Two at a time? Yeah, I'm gonna do this time. Okay, can I What? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, can I Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> okay, can I go? Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. 
You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. So she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program, time to wrap it up tonight. Want to thank our guests, right, Cat? Isn't isn't uh, Stink here just a ball of energy? Absolutely, you are such a positive little bubble. It's mm. nice to have somebody like that on the show. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> just noises and all the laughs and stuff. It's great. Um, uh, we want to thank Catalano also for being here as thank she is so on much. Thursdays. We appreciate you very much. Uh, what else do we got to do? A quick announcement, and then we could announce who the caller of the night is. The announcement goes like this. Why worry about IDD charges to your loved ones in Canada if you can have your own virtual Canadian landline number here in the Philippines? Enjoy Canadian domestic calls, uh, call charges in the Philippines with Globe Duo Canada. To register to Duo Canada, just text Duo Canada 999 and send that to 8888. Or you can also visit globe.com slash, uh, globe.com.ph slash Duo Canada. All right. Good stuff, man. Um, yeah. So thank you, girls, for being here. What? Thank you for. Yeah, it's all right looking. Okay. What? Who, the guy with the dick? Yeah. No. Oh, we were talking about the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the dick guy. Oh, oh, okay. We were talking (laughs) about about how Princess has a lot of weird stalkers that kind of like. You know, I mean, oh, of course she's going to have, she's an attractive female, but Ew. she's like, oh my God, this guy just buys me drinks. And I'm like, hey, stink, shut up. You know what happens to Kat? <laughs> Kat, she has stalkers. They pulled a dick out on her. Like, they literally pulled a dick out and like put it on their table. Ew, and then that, that's, that's, that's just life. put in the table. That's intense. No. Yeah. You, you, you oh, get man. a drink put on your table. They get the fucking ball bag. I will put. cut it. That oh, is hard. That will smash it yeah. into something. Yeah. Oh, Just wait. Goodness. It'll happen. Yep. Just give it One a few day. years. One day. Be prepared. <laughs> yeah, you th- yeah, you think All right. you think champagne's bad? <laughs> <laughs> just wait. Just wait till they start putting that bubbly oh all over you, and goodness. it's not fucking li- alcohol. All right, let's all go. All right. Anyway, bye bye. Away from this subject, <laughs> uh, of the night because I verbally thrashed him, him, berated uh, him, right. and made him feel like yes. a total failure in every aspect of because his he life. Is. <laughs> here's oh where God. here's loser where he wins. guy. Here we Caller go. Caller of the night. See, you can't be a loser forever. Your caller of the night, watch from Davao. So congratulations. We'll contact you, um, and uh, yeah, you'll get your prize. And this is the start you'll... of your unloserness, Mott. Do it. Yes, please. redeem yourself. And if you continue to be a loser, I will revoke that fucking prize <laughs> because I want this to be a changing moment. You're now a winner. Um, let's get out of here. So yes. uh, yeah, we'll see you guys again next time. Next time, uh, uh, stink, and uh, next time, uh, cat. We'll see you next week. All right. All right. Have a great hey, wait, 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 wait. Princess, don't you have anything? Like, do you have anything to plug? Don't you have like magazines are always on and stuff like that? Oh, they can watch me every Saturdays in Star Talk and Sunday. I mean, I believe at 5 p.m. It's like a science show. So nice. That's it. Awesome. You're on a science show? About what? Like for kids. Yeah, like like what kind of science? Like you experiment stuff and then you yeah, things like that. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. I've always wanted to be on a show like that. I always wanted to I, I got to the final stuff. call, but they didn't get me. <laughs> it was not really bad. <laughs> they, gave, they gave it to, to Snell here. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, cool. Thank you. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll see you guys uh, soon. Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gumata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.